This anaconda don't want none unless you've got buns, hun, on Bad Movies Rule, the worst movie podcast ever recorded. And today we're on a boat going up the river in the Amazon hunting for anaconda. Let's go. I sometimes wish Bob did. First of all, love that energy. He's over here doing the Ultimate Warrior yeah. rope shake. Look on the spaceships rope. with the rocket fuel. <laughs> Not with the warriors. Sometimes I wish we could have entrances where we just ran in here, hundred miles an hour. Oh, dude, we, we would, would you know. knock everything over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we already knock everything over. So Ryan's knocking things over before the show That's even right. started. Yeah, we'd get to pick our entrance music. Oh, know, dude, that'd, that'd, that'd be great. sweet, incredible. Mine would be Seek and Destroy Someday. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Might be. What's that Megadeth song? from Last Action Hero. Oh, uh, Angry Again. Angry yeah. Again. That's That yeah. would be the one for yes. me. I, would take that. Awesome. <laughs> I could definitely see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. Up, dude. Well, welcome in, guys. We're here. This is a, a Patreon pick, so thank the patrons that voted for us to do Anaconda from 1997 today. Finally knocking this one off the list. That's right. This we is can stop one. hearing about it now. When are you going to do Anaconda? When are you going to do Anaconda? Well, we're doing it. Yeah, who knew there was so much love for giant snakes? They they There's, love this movie. Yeah, I guess. This I is mean, a Grass Lake Road classic. So much that they made <laughs> three more. There's four Anaconda movies. Dude, we got to get to the one with David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yes. That's real. That's real. It's Anaconda 3. <laughs> we're I, doing it. I must have <laughs> Blocked out that there were more Dude, the sec- <laughs> There was a second one that yeah. made a lot of money too. It made like seventy five million dollars. And I was going back and forth on whether or not to do the whole thing. But then if I once you said that, I <laughs> we gotta get we're, to the Hoff man. The Hoff, got- <laughs> that, uh, is the that- Hoff fighting snakes? Yes. <laughs> Is that Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid? Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> They're going to find an orchid that's for eternal life. Yeah, that's literally what that movie's the Holy about? Grail. It literally gets oh. Indiana Jonesy. So yeah. That's awesome. Quick question though. Yeah. Um, is this a problem facing? I mean, no, you can have way. the prime facing. It's okay. We can we can help Logan oh, Paul. I don't want to no, help Logan no, Paul. No, well, <laughs> it's, 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 it's light blue Gatorade. It's, well, it's, uh, it's light blue it. sugar. I don't know if he can. It's not booty sweat. That's right. <laughs> yeah, give him a sip of Alpha's ass water. That'll okay. bring him around. <laughs> can I? Can I tell you guys I did something after we recorded Tropic Thunder for Good Movies Rule? What'd you do? I went and bought a can of booty sweat for the table. <laughs> did you? Did you really? Nice. It's, in, it's in the mail. Uh, <laughs> So at some point awesome. right here on our table, we're going to have a can sweat. of booty sweat. Are you going to drink it? No, I'm not going to drink it. It's been, <laughs> sealed for, it's been sealed for 14 years. I'm like, probably still good, man. <laughs> no way. My dude. high school teacher had a cheese McDonald's cheeseburger in his desk for a very long time, oh, and it was still good. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> so he just tells you what you're putting in your body. Well, those of you who don't know, this is Bad Movies Rule. We talk about low-rated films. That means... Don't, we don't think necessarily it's bad, but it's been called bad by critics or audience scores are low. We are former filmmakers. We're on a quest to find those movies that have been rated bad but are actually awesome, a.k.a. bad movies that rule. But don't we tell you we're going to roast the ones that need to be roasted. Mm-hmm. We'll give praise where that's due. And ultimately, as we go scene by scene, we're going to give out our awards and then give our final rating as whether or not we think this is a good movie, a bad movie, or a bad movie that rules. Uh, let's get some vitals out of the way so you guys know the movie that we're talking about here. This movie was directed by Luis... Leosa? Am I saying that wrong? Luis Losa? Close enough. Uh, close enough. Movie was written by Hans Bauer, Jim Cash, and Jack Epps Jr. Starring. Now, the cast is stacked in retrospect. At the time, I don't think all these people were big stars. You know, I think Owen Wilson was just coming up. Yeah. Danny Trejo hadn't done a ton of stuff at that point. But we had John Voight, Jennifer Lopez, Eric Stoltz, Ice Cube, Owen Wilson, and as I said, Danny Trejo, oh, well, along with and Jonathan Hyde, other, Jonathan Hyde yeah. from uh, Jumanji, is who Jumanji. I always think of him. For. I mean, he's done tons of stuff. Yeah, but mummy, Jumanji. Jumanji. Come on, and uh, the mummy. Yes. You must not read from the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just watched the mummy not long ago. Yeah, man, it's a great yeah. movie. He followed yeah, the advice of a woman. That's right. What yes. does a woman know? What does a woman know? It says right here. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. I'm following anything Rachel Weisz says. Yeah, that's <laughs> All y'all need to be listening to her, especially in that movie. Although she is the one that reads from the book and ruins everything. But besides that, she really is the only person that knows what's going on. Uh, all right, the budget for this. This is how we ended up with four of them. $45 million budget and $137 million at the box office. So the movie made money. Yeah. That's how you end up with And you said the sequel made money. 
The sequel made seventy five million. I knew it had a, yeah. it had to have a lesser budget. Well, it dropped it. off, but I'm sure it was not. It, I'm sure they didn't spend fifty million. It on probably it. at least twenty. Okay. Uh, here's where the ratings are, and this is how it qualifies for our show. It's currently sitting at a 4.9 on IMDb, which is 117th out of the 154 movies we've covered, so towards the bottom half. Uh, tied other movies, just so you have an idea, that we've covered at 4.5. Mr. No Legs was a 4.9. That, that, that movie needs to be lower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vindicator was also a 4.9. So, you know, this mm. is about the neighborhood that we're dealing with here with Anaconda. I liked Vindicator. I did, too. That was, that, that was that a good movie. RoboCop knockoff. Or RoboCop was before RoboCop. Yeah. RoboCop was a Vindicator knockoff. I've got to keep remembering. Yeah, you got to remember that. Because that was like, Vindicator was like a Canadian RoboCop type thing. Yeah. Came out a year before. Yeah. Uh, All right. So the movie is currently sitting at a 41% on Rotten Tomatoes. So the critics were like kind of a collective thumbs down from them. Don't like giant snake movies. What a shocker. But this is a bit of a shocker because audiences tend to like this kind of stuff. 24% from audiences. So half as bad as the critics. Yeah. So that surprises me. I just feel like I'm on a roller coaster here. I went from Phantom Menace yeah. to, to Cabin Fever. Mm. So it's like <laughs> Lost World. Don't forget Lost World. Low. Oh yeah. When was Lost? Okay. So yeah, Lost I did Phantom Menace, Lost World, which are both high. Yeah. Cabin Fever, low. <laughs> and then there's this. This is like mid. And you're like, I don't, yeah. I don't know what's going on, sir. I was on half past dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what's I. Yeah, so was Mueller. Bob just played the Steven Seagal card on yeah. the table, which is like in Uno, that's a draw four. You suck a Modelo. Okay? <laughs> we just Uno reserve, reversed no, I'm ourselves. Just, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't know how I feel about any ratings at this point. Right, what it's, means anything? And yeah. to the haters are saying that it's easy to climb a rope. Uh, yeah. That was CGI. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I, I was like, yeah, he didn't climb that rope. Don't climb no shit. Seriously, he took an elevator. I, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was so shocked. I thought that there was, was one thing th- people could get on board with, and that's making fun of Steven Seagal. No. And even when we do that, there are people that comment like, God. If any, and that's the hill they die on. I know. Yeah. If anything, they wire worked his ass up to the helicopter. <laughs> he broke the rig. If this wasn't a reason for you guys to see what we did, you know, come on. Uh, look, for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, welcome to the show. We're happy that you're here. If you've been here for a long time, you've been listening to the show, you've probably heard us talk before about all the different ways you can get in contact with us. But if you'd like to reach out and be featured on one of our mailbag episodes, you can email the show at thisshowistrash at gmail.com, or you can call and leave us a voicemail, and we'll answer those on our mailbag episodes as well. That's 262 757 Eight five six seven. You can also head to our website, badmoviesrule.com. You can sign up for our email newsletter. We don't spam you. We just send that out once a month. And we appreciate all y'all listening. Uh, we also usually tell you guys about kind of the foundation, the bedrock of, B- of Bad Movies Rule is our Patreon. It allows us to do all the stuff that we do. And if you want to be a supporter of the show, we would greatly appreciate it. And you get all access to all kinds of bonus, whole other podcasts that we only do on Patreon. In fact, speaking of this hate stuff that we're talking about, these comments about Seagal climbing ropes. Yeah. Later today, we're going to be recording Bob responding to hate comments. So, <laughs> All right. you know, if you Sweet. want to hear what he has to say unfiltered on Patreon to these people, oh God. sign up, okay? <laughs> it's patreon.com slash bad I got something to say to Eric Vallow, that's for sure. <laughs> that, uh, you ready to jump into the plot here for Anaconda? Yes. Yeah, let's do it, I guess. What plot there is. The very to... convoluted, obnoxious, yep. runaround train plot of how to yeah. hijack a boat. Yeah. It wants to be Jaws... It's not Jaws. Wants it's to be a, a hijack movie. It's not. Yeah. You know what the movie should have been? That. What's that? Machete versus Snake. Oh, if only Trejo had the star power at the time to be able oh, to pull that God. off. Right? It would have been so much better because Trejo. We start the movie off with Danny Trejo, and we're like, "Oh, this is this it's is going to be good." Fantastic yeah. Here, yeah. Right. Danny Trejo is trying to call the Snake Police on the radio. Now, right? did you listen to him talk? <laughs> it did not sound like. Like Spanish. Danny Trejo? It didn't sound like Spanish from his mouth. No, it didn't, it didn't. even sound like Danny. And no. It was like a different voice. Right? It did. It did sound like a different voice. And I know he speaks I know he speaks fluent Spanish, but I'm right. just like, I don't know if that's his voice. It didn't no, sound think, like his voice at all. I think they ADR. I don't know as to why they did that. It's anybody's guess. Maybe the audio wasn't any good or how they recorded it. Right. So, you know, there was a problem or they couldn't get him back to do the ADR, whatever. But it's clearly not Trejo speaking. Yeah. He's just screaming into this radio like for the, I don't know, whoever comes when a snake is there. <laughs> who, like, who are you calling well, in the jungle? <laughs> snake police, come, please. <laughs> the problem was he's using the radio they had in the Lost World. Nobody's <laughs> answering. <laughs> He dialed the wrong number, though, and a stripper shows up. I heard someone looking for a snake bully. 
<laughs> some voodoo witch sex doctor. I, God, sign me up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Maybe she would have charmed the snake. You know, who knows? Those hips don't lie. Get Dude, them rolling. Dude, if Samuel Hayek from Dust Till Dawn showed up in that crazy <laughs> right. hips, hip dance, uh, I would... Right. All of a sudden, the oh, anaconda... Whoa, whoa. Is, calm down. Yeah. All My penis can only get so erect. James is trying to move forward. <laughs> no, I'm not, actually. So if that happened, all of a sudden, the anaconda would be like, oh, 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 oh what's hey, happening? There's going to be a lot of anacondas coming out of these pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, more like uh, more like an earthworm, but or Oscar Mayer wieners. Speaking of wieners, these monkeys in the cage are going absolutely crazy. They're jumping like they, they like the monkeys have like a snake sense or something. I don't so, know. So they'd be like, going ape. That's right? exactly That's what's what it happening. Is. We're off to a start there today with the beeps, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the whatever it is, we don't know because the movie's trying to be Jaws and yeah, we don't know what it yeah. is yet because uh, they don't show it. The floorboards, the floorboards, the four floorboards break underneath Danny Trejo, yep. almost hit him into the ceiling. He runs out, ends up climbing the mast of the ship, you know, to try and get away from whatever it is, but then ultimately just shoots himself in the head. I did like this opener. I did like the I theater of the it. mind. Yeah. yeah, I did like it. Yeah. They don't show what it is. Mm -hmm. You for unless I mean you go into the movie knowing it's Anaconda, but. For all intents and purposes, if it's on TV, yeah. you're like, I don't even know what the monster is. Right. right How big is it? What are you dealing with? Right. Mm -hmm. And could yeah, be a big I, piranha. A, a lot of promise in the opening here. A lot of promise. The only problem is the best actor in the movie has gone after two minutes. Yeah, that was yeah. disappointing. Danny Trejo only lasted two minutes. Oh, I know he doesn't last two minutes. But I mean, I respect it. That's a two minutes. I respect it. Well, like, maybe there was something he, they, no there was rubs. not enough foot. Yeah, I was going to say not enough foot rubbing in the movie because oh, snakes sorry. don't have feet. I think he left. I just desert. dumped right in front of you on that one. <laughs> just to think, he left Desert Heat to go do this movie. Uh, <laughs> can we reference Desert Heat in more episodes, please? <laughs> the ten people that listen to that episode. We need we'll really ten love. more people. To ten to more people. Go back and listen to Desert Heat. Go, go please, watch. And please listen. don't go back and listen to Desert Heat. Don't watch the movie, but listen to the episode. It's a great episode. That's right. Uh, all right. So then we cut to and he and he shoots himself, which I respect. If I'm getting eaten by a giant snake, I'd probably just want to die before I went down. You did that in Fast Zombies down. with Guns. I love, Please, let's let <laughs> as many people know that I'm in that piece of garbage <laughs> as Was possible. that okay that I said that? We just talked about it on the last episode. Okay. And I don't think we told people that I was in it. Yes, but you had the yes. best part. <laughs> I don't remember anything about it. You did it great. Like, ah! <laughs> oh, I shot myself in the head in that you one? You shot yourself in the mouth. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> That's like the worst, dude. But just how you did it, your facial expressions, your yeah. acting was great. Our friend Benny, which we've mentioned the show, this movie on the show. We don't know if you ever talked about who did it. Our friend Benny would who shot Mummer Man and Club List and a lot of our movies for us, mm -hmm. made his own movie called Fast Zombies with Guns. Uh, funny enough, another Facebook page called The Fallen Marvel, which has like 23,000 followers, <laughs> found it in a bargain bin and posted a picture of it the other day. He's like, check this hilarious looking movie out. And I was like, dude, we're in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, funny story. Funny story. But Benny made that movie. I, me and Nicole's in it. Nicole. I think me and Nicole are a couple in that movie. You and Nicole are, are a couple. I play a yeah. douchebag, no surprise, and I fall off a roof. It's, yeah. <laughs> that was some of the worst acting I've ever turned in. <laughs> it was fine. I think you're yeah. believable. No, it's it's fine. But uh, yeah, try and find that one out there if you can. Fast Zombies with Guns. What's scarier than zombies? Zombie. Fast Zombies with Guns. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see Jor Kotowski tackle a woman? It's pretty fun. Oh, yeah, Joe's in there, too. That's yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we cut back into the Amazon. There's ho there's like a hotel in the jungle, okay? Uh, J-Lo is staying there. There's oh, like, yeah, she's staying there. They kind of insinuate there's a snake waiting outside her window, like, you know, they yeah. do the POV shot yeah. from down below. Turns out it's just... Ice Cube. George He's McFly. Film yeah. something because <laughs> she can't find her bras throughout the whole movie. <laughs> That's right. I, honestly, this whole ah. movie is just, you know, bringing it back. I just to get this out of the way because we said it in the opening, right? The, you know, the famous Sir Mix-a-Lot lyric. Yep. This anaconda don't want none unless, unless you've got buns, buns on. <laughs> and then you cast J-Lo in this movie. Oh, yeah. She's got, yeah. She's got buns for days. All the buns. Right. So really... This snake would have left everybody alone if she wasn't there. It's all her fault. That's just going to say yeah. that right off yeah. the bat. It's a hot yeah. take. It's a, it's, Definitely. If she hadn't been there, it wouldn't have been interested. It would have maybe peeked out of the water and gone, you know, with the girl with the red hair. Eh, no. Maybe. Uh, no. Eric Stoltz, no. no. He's not packing anything in those khaki shorts. Everyone's a pencil here. John Boyd, <laughs> no. John Boyd, no. Mm -mm. And then he leaves and goes and finds somebody else. But he, he pulls up and J-Lo's on the yeah. boat. Well. And the snake's like, hold on a second. <laughs> Okay. He's got a mix a lot in, mix a lot in his Walkman just oh, out there I listening. Just, it's her own fault. <laughs> Things Eyes just go. Mm. 
Auga. Auga. <laughs> 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 Pulls his shirt open. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Whipping the tail around. <laughs> yeah, the tail's just making the noise from the mix a lot music right. video. Just a whoosh. <laughs> her, whole, her whole thing is she's a filmmaker and they're out there trying to film a documentary for some forgotten tribe that never has never been filmed or yeah, whatever. She's that's a filmmaker. The, that's I'm a gynecologist. The, right. This super believable. <laughs> she does nope. a lot of some film directing in the entire movie. One time she just stands next to the camera and goes, good job. Like, that's <laughs> that's <it>. great. <laughs> that's all you need to do, good right? Job. Apparently. You direct a film. No one's ever seen or filmed these people. Let's go find them. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Uh, Eric Stoltz comes in and he's immediately, he comes into the bedroom or the hotel room. He's immediately trying to riz her up. You get this sense that maybe there's some history there yep. between the two of them. Yeah, uh, they seem pretty friendly. And uh, he's like put, turning on a Stoltz charm, you know what I mean? And he's got like his knee on his pants are wet and it's like a little ripped up. She's like, you're a mess. He's like, yeah, piranhas. <laughs> you know, almost uh, like, you know, whatever. I mean, pff, I killed them all. Are they mud piranhas? <laughs> Because he just had mud all over. Just one knee has mud on it, and yeah. like, piranha. You know, he, you know, did he probably got that wet in the sink in his room, and then he's like, "These are totally piranhas. Yeah, no big deal. Right. Piranhas just, would have shredded your pants, dude. Just so you know, I fought them myself. Oh my okay. god, they're all dead. <laughs> anyway, what are you up it's to? It's safe to go in the water. <laughs> that guy would not have a dick if there was a piranha. <laughs> they would have eaten everything. Right. It's always it's like a step above Ben Stiller in his office in Dodgeball, like taking a bull by the horns. But yeah. seriously, that happened. You know? Yeah. This is yeah. him with his piranha knees. We should mate. That's right. <laughs> date. I think we should date. The next part of the movie is basically just time to meet all the characters, right? Like, okay, here's Ice Cube, Danny, and they introduce him. Talk about on the nose with him basically referencing one of his own songs. Oh, mm. I had that. He yeah. took my joke. Who did? Ice Cube. <laughs> Said it was a good day. My got- homegirl's getting to make her movie. It was a good day. That's right. Damn it. You got cute. Thanks, Ice, Ice Cube. Cube. I can't use that one now. <laughs> Put me on ice. We meet uh, Mateo, the boat driver. Uh, Owen Wilson is the sound guy. And Denise is like a production assistant or whatever. And just, you know, I just called her Red the whole time. She's the girl with red hair. Uh, movie, I be, beginning with the Riz Up scene in the hotel, and then we immediately have Owen Wilson. Like, you ever just get real horny when you're out here in the jungle? Like, like I love like just like, that energy. Like, wow. You know, like. Yeah. Oh, wow. What's this? In my legs. Wow. wow. I got a seashell necklace. Wow. We're it's like I got an anaconda right here. Wow. We're out in this jungle and it's great and you're hot and I'm hot and I just want to keep it, you know. Just hot. <laughs> How would Donald Trump be on that boat? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Everybody right. else on this boat, total dog. Total dog. You look gorgeous. <laughs> I would say I'd like to grab you somewhere, but I, you seem busy. <laughs> this is, these are things people say. <laughs> on um, boats. These people are a myth. They don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they sail down the river, okay? Off they go until they find a stranded boater, okay? The stranded boater <laughs> is John Voight. Okay. <laughs> The greatest acting in the movie. Mateo is supposed to be South American. Yeah. Yeah. He's white. What? Mateo's not white. No, he's not. Here's the thing. I looked at, I had the exact same thought. Okay. I was like, whatever accent that guy's doing isn't real. And he's totally a white guy. Okay. But then I looked him up. He was born in Cuba. He actor. doesn't sound no, like it. No, he doesn't sound he's like, like it at all. Hello there. <laughs> I'm Mateo. Yeah. He was probably deported from Cuba. That's probably what happened. <laughs> Not Cuban enough. Um, <laughs> get out. John Voight plays Sarone. Oh, my God. It's the greatest acting. Who Ryan, from? you shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. It, maybe from... if I squint my eyes really hard, they'll believe I'm Mexican. <laughs> no, he's from Paraguay, okay? He's from Paraguay, okay? <laughs> sure about that. <laughs> Very sure. I would have believed I, the dude from I Think You Should Leave over this guy. <laughs> He basically, if you close your eyes, he basically sounded like Indigo Montoya from Princess yeah, did. Bride. Yeah, he did. The right? accent was fine. It's just the I wrong don't suppose face. you could have speed things up. <laughs> because I'm only waiting up here to kill you. I'm like, is he just doing Indigo Montoya from <laughs> Princess Bride? <laughs> so. <sighs> Smoking a joint watching that, Princess Bride. Maybe you could find a, a rope or something. <laughs> and he had that permanent sneer like he was in a Mexican gang the whole movie. Yes. Uh. He was at least go. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> yeah. That's about, about it. it. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, they don't. Hey there. I, uh, hey, baby bird. I, 
Hey, it baby is. bird. That's right. It is. I'm Snake Hunter. <laughs> I'm Snake Hunter. <laughs> I used to be a priest, but now I hunt a snake. You know what even better than John Voight? John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I would have at least appreciated that. <laughs> he could have been doing the splits over the... Right. He would have split between <laughs> both rivers and punched the snake right in the mouth. <laughs> the snake Just swimming around looking for him. And right? the snake's head would explode. Do a cyborg callback. He's The snake's yes. looking for him, and it's just, just him above, him above, it, above the tree it, yeah. drops down on it. Oh, oh. it would be incredible. Incredible. God. So and many opportunities. We could have had Machete versus Anaconda. We could have had Anaconda with Van Damme. Well, look, there's no subtlety in the filmmaking of this movie. No, no there's none. Not. Because in case you missed that Cerrone and Mateo might be in cahoots, we're going to make it painfully obvious through yes. as many cuts to them sneering at each other as he comes in. Like, oh, we definitely don't know who uh, each other no, are. Guys, Winking at each other. Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's like it's so painful how much he's squinting. Yeah. He must have taken walnuts and put them between his eyelids. And yeah. Practice Scrub crushing walnuts. them. Hot so. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Got some Tabasco. Thanks. That's a much better. It's like Bobby De Niro. Uh, he is <laughs> exactly. He exactly. Was doing a De Niro thing the whole movie. Yeah. You talking to me? You You're talking to me? Talking to me? You, you, find the you, snake. I'm the only reptile here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, so now it gets to nighttime, all right? And the sexual tension on this boat is Holy so cow. thick that Eric Stoltz and J-Lo start dirty talking about lightning bugs, and it's getting them all freaking hot. What are those? Those are lamper days. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I get it. He's got I got to get it. What are those over oh in the jungle? God. Stupid song is not <laughs> sexual, bro. Those are lamper day. They are doing a kind of a mating dance where first they flash each other, but the chick Lamberdays totally flash each other first. That's how it works. So Do they flash the same way? <laughs> no, the females give female female blinky lights. Very That's right. I don't know. They take their shorts off. <laughs> what? They have shorts? Shut up. Just listen. I mean watch. The it's males. Light. Are very throbbing with their thrusts. Oh, it's, I could get used to that. <laughs> it's Stoltz in time. <laughs> okay, Stoltz is like the least sexy person I've ever seen. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And and they start making out. And just like in the real world, anytime anybody makes out with Jennifer Lopez, somewhere a jaguar dies. Yes. <laughs> I believe that's actually true. That's, that's, that's why we're running out of jaguars. It's, uh, <laughs> too many people have been making out with J-Lo. It's turkey time. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> While this is all happening, you see it. It's Anaconda just murder a taxidermied cougar. You know, yeah. <laughs> very <laughs> taxidermied. That was pretty good. I think my daughter has a stuffed animal that's the same... And, like it's Jaguar. More realistic looking than that one. <laughs> oh my god. Just like the fiber optic fireflies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, Cerrone is like, we should have definitely go this way. <laughs> this is a legend of the uh, the Chimichanga tribe. <laughs> <laughs> you know. They have the they, cheesy gordita crunch <laughs> down this way. If you go this way, hey. there's a there's a wall. And he's like and Eric Stoltz calls him on his BS immediately. immediately. Yeah. Like, He's like, there's a wall. Oh, you mean the wall from this other legend? Right. <laughs> For a different tribe? Well, you think I'm stupid? I don't know my natives in the Amazon? Huh? I studied this stuff all day, guy. It was the weirdest measuring contest of, of nerds, <laughs> I guess, I've ever seen in my life. My penis is at least three centimeters, okay? <laughs> Not as big as my anaconda body. <laughs> That's right. And then because he's just mad that he called him on it, he like... Uh, John Voight's character throws like a hissy fit and jumps yeah. in the shot of their movie and you're like, just so you know, I know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> you can jump in at the next village. <laughs> What's his problem? <sighs> All right. He's We're not a very <laughs> smart character, though, because in about five minutes, when they need to go somewhere else, he's going to be like, we should go the same way I just said we should go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Okay. This river could kill you in a thousand ways. I did like that line. Yeah, that's a good line. That's yeah. a good line. Uh, all right, I, so I respect John Voight because no, he was love, he was in it. No, like, for yeah. sure. I yeah. thought about you immediately. We talked about that with the with uh, Raul Julia. Yeah, Raul Julia. He definitely Raul Julia at this party. He's yes. like, this yes. is a stupid snake movie, and he's, he went 110%. So please don't take any good-natured ribbing of John Voight's character as anything 
disrespectful because I loved his performance in this movie. It's ridiculous to the tenth degree. Yep. I didn't realize he was a this his this movie. He has so many uh, memes. Oh, like yeah. he's memed the hell out. Like like oh. I was going online, I typed in Anaconda. There's so many yeah. of yeah. this his sure. characters memes. I'm just like, yeah. that's <laughs> cool. <There> was, <laughs> go ahead. There was one that I saw where it's like when you tell your bro to check out the chick at five o'clock, but do it subtly, and then it's John Voight. Just <laughs> sneering at J Lo, and then she looks at the back, sneer, he's doing like and the he's very still obvious, like, like, yeah, he's like, no <laughs> Mateo. <laughs> oh, when he scre- when he creeps at her, yeah, yeah. he creeps he at her. Weird, like, <laughs> he has this weird thing where he has a completely upside down smile. Yeah, thing yeah, happening. a whole it's movie, very whole hard movie. to do. Like it, it's I really hard. Do. I can't, can't even. That's do pretty it. good. No, actually. That was pretty good. Yeah, but it's wild, man. How you doing? You so yeah, we love him. Oh yeah. We're gonna make fun of him. Oh, dude, oh, yeah. make fun. I'm not, I'm not no. defending that. I'm just saying, like, I'm I just, I, I'm, okay. Yeah. I just some, enjoyed it. Sometimes that people went for take it. our good natured ribbing as like we're just crapping on things, but I, I loved this performance. No, yeah, yeah. I strongly I believe that he was told to do what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, to even a certain degree, not, and they didn't stop him either. No. So they obviously were like, Fine. "This is great. Keep right. going, John. Do it." Uh, all right, Red, Red, and Owen Wilson go into the jungle to get jiggy with it. This oh. is now night. Go we're gonna go get some sound checks. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some jungle get sounds. Some jungle we're gonna go sounds. record nature we're gonna, sounds. We're gonna get some nature sounds. They sound like this. Uh, Did you guys I find just... some gorillas? <laughs> That's getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, Wilson, um, Owen Wilson's like. Uh, can I get an ah oh, yeah? It's <laughs> great. Just keep that. Keep Picardi that and Cola, do it. Um, do it. <laughs> it's a little too quiet, right? She's like, they stop making it. It's like the silence. And then it looks Only like. Only they... a woman would stop making out because it got too quiet. Yeah. Right? right? The guy's going to be like, can we just keep kissing? Well, usually cool? it's at home and there's kids that have suddenly gone quiet, right? Yeah, that's, that's the situation true. where that's it's too quiet, right? Yeah. What's what are you, happening? What are you guys doing? I'll just. Yeah. Stuffing my GI Joes down the toilet. It's, right. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna fix that after. I ain't fixing that. Kurt's fixing that. <laughs> yeah. I got Kurt on speed down. <laughs> when they did stop though, because of the sound, it looks like the way they shot it looks like the cameraman attacks them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know yes. what I mean? They try to do like that oh. Michael Myers the POV POV camera thing. A Evil Dead kind yeah. of. Oh yeah. So, Evil Dead. It was more Evil Deadish. Thank you. Yeah. Every time they do the snake moving as the camera, yeah. they do a weird camera tilt. Yeah. And Lauren was watching it with me. She was so mad. The first <laughs> scene they do it, and yeah. they're like, Nyarrr! and she's like, you don't need to tilt the camera. <laughs> Proceed to watch the rest of the 90-minute movie of the camera tilting about 85 more times. Yes, it's yeah. tilted, because that's she the counter's so eyes, man. You got to <laughs> be creative. Yeah. He, he's like, Every I don't just suppose you can speed things up. I don't <laughs> Because I'm only with. Doesn't she tilt at you? I've been when you're in the naked? revenge business so long. <laughs> I'm starting to lose. Hope. No, that's me tilting. <laughs> uh, hearing the screams, Eric Stoltz gets his gun, and he's like, "Now it's Stoltz in time," but in a <laughs> in a different context than what Stoltz. I meant it before. In a kind of <laughs> slow way, though, he's like, he kind of moseys over to get his gun. <laughs> he's like. Yes. Ah, oh, I forgot the bullets. Right. So Rowan acts much more quickly, and he ends up out there with a the rifle and shoots what we find out is actually a wild boar. Well, I think he goes out after them before there's a problem, though. I think he, he was... watches them leave. Yeah. I think he just likes to watch. I think that's what yeah. was happening. That's creepy. It's kind of creepy. He was kind of a creepy dude anyway. But yeah. the next morning, Stoltz is shaving on Wait. the boat. Sorry. He shoots a wild boar that yeah. chases them. Yeah. And he brings it onto the boat and says, that'll feed us for the next few days. And Ice Cube is like, that? Yeah. Like, oh, he's yeah. never heard of eating pig before. <laughs> yeah. That's bacon, buddy. You eat bacon? What? Yeah. That's a very, very rare Amazonian wild boar. <laughs> That's so rare, it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Do they not have wild boars? No. Them? Really? No, they no, don't. None. Oh, Not down in the Amazon jungle. Okay. Mm. I don't know. Sorry. The internet will correct me if I'm wrong. I'm... I'm just curious. I'm surprised because they're like raging in the like Mexico and yeah. like all through the United States. They're everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But interesting. Well, let's get rid of them. Get hey, yeah, bacon for days. Let us know in the comments. That's, right. That's probably the only one in the Amazon. All right. The next morning, Stoltz is outside on the boat shaving, and I'm just like, dude, you're in the jungle. Like, you can grow a beard for a week. It's not that big a deal. You can't grow a beard. Is that what it is? He's got the jaw rule effect. Okay. He's got two nut hairs on his chin. So that's why he's um, <laughs> shaving yeah. to make it look point. like he's... Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm this way because I want to be. But he's not uh, just, just a man. shaving. A man, man, man. <laughs> I'm shaving my face <laughs> on a river, river, river. <laughs> 
I'm here with J Lo. She thinks I beat Piranha, <laughs> but really I got my foot stuck in the mud. <laughs> you just clogged the toilet really bad. <laughs> Why well, was your knee in the toilet, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> but he's so he's shaving. Yeah. But he's so busy mm-hmm. in the middle of the jungle that he has to be multitasking while shaving. Right. Should be yeah. all the time in the world. Yeah, they, to shave. like what are you doing? The, yeah, they're out here for a while. Uh, all right, so a rope gets caught in the propeller of the boat, and the boat stops. And so, Stoltz, why? Why is there a rope dangling in the in the water? You think somebody probably did that? It, uh, because it kicked off the back of the boat by Saron because uh, he wanted to stop so you, the boat. So it was sabotage. It was sabotage. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure. they wanted you to figure it out, but it was poorly. Executed. I just yeah. I, was I picked up on it the second time around when <laughs> so I watched Rose it. Saron's nowhere near the back of the boat. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Internet. Uh, so Stoltz is like, I'll cut the rope, and this is where there's a little bit of a tip. This is when he's like, You sure? This river could kill you in a thousand ways. Mm-hmm. You know, like and why is Saron why is Stoltz it? going out to cut the rope? It ain't his freaking boat. Yeah, send the tail out, out there. there. Right. Hey, boat boy. There's a rope in See, your this propeller. is a part of the, the script that bugged me. There's no reason for Stoltz to get in the river period to cut a rope. No. At all. And you know what? You Honestly, you could cut it off the deck, start the propeller up, and it probably would have been fine because it didn't look like it was sea wrapped that well anything. anyway. It would have just shredded it. Do you remember when we were in Round Lake and a lot of times the seaweed in Round Lake oh, yeah. on Ansu's and Uncle Kurt's boat, like it, it was like... I don't know enough about boats, but, no, but no, it would, it'll wrap around. It'll, it'll wrap, wrap around, around yep. but then you go and re- throw it in reverse, and it unwraps yep. it or some yeah. way it chops yep. it up. Yeah, you know, yep. the same thing. Uncle Bill stuff, like just you just do that. You just do, just that. do that. I was thinking that the whole time. Yep. Why don't you just like rope in water? Can't it's, be that dense. Mateo's like, and, uh, we don't have a reverse on this boat. Sorry, it doesn't. It was go in backwards. Lake Michigan where I <laughs> grew up. <laughs> that boat wouldn't last two minutes in Lake Michigan. <laughs> no, no, it didn't last two minutes on hey, the Amazon. The if if there really is, as he says, when he gets in to cut the rope, pee hole swimming fish, you, you're Catfish. never getting my ass in no. the water. No, oh hell no. no. Okay, Just remember the rundown? Mm-hmm. He's swimming up this boy's pee too. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. I love never. That movie. <laughs> and right after he tells all these people, we're going to get to the scene in a second, but. He tells people about the pee hole catfish that swims up your oh, yeah, urethra. Yeah. Then spikes up. Then spikes up. Then like later on, Ice Cube's like, I'll follow him waist deep with yeah. my camera. And I'm like, no. No. I'd be no. grabbing some saran boat. wrap yeah. like, and duct taping <laughs> everything up. Right. Uh, Permanent <laughs> condom. Permanent. Put a condom on and just, and just duct tape. Duct tape. <laughs> just duct tape the condom. <laughs> Jeez, this is not coming off. <laughs> just put a condom, then put a magnum over it, then wrap it in yeah. duct tape. Then put right. a, like, a surgery glove on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then a suit of armor. A suit, right. of armor. <laughs> right. a suit of armor from Bill and Ted's Excellent clunk, Adventure. Clunk through the, you know, you probably don't need a suit of armor. Just get the chastity belt from the chastity Rab- belt Robin, Robin, Robin. Robin. Yeah. Men in tights. Yeah, men in tights, yeah. And then in one of those inflatable you, bubbles and you just float along the river <laughs> like a hamster in a wheel. Do you know what would go in that river? My pee hole is safe. <laughs> <laughs> if Chuck Norris went in that river... That He'd fish could inside fit. the catfish. <laughs> that that catfish would go inside yeah. his dick and explode, <laughs> and he'd piss it out. Or Chuck Norris lives inside the catfish's yeah. pee hole now. <laughs> right. Exactly. Spikes up. Spikes up. <laughs> Not getting Chuck Norris out of here. It's the beard. His beard hair <laughs> sticking into the into its urethra. Yeah, I'll never do that again. Another missed opportunity. Chuck, yes. Chuck Norris versus catfish is never <laughs> Catfish is never swimming in the river again. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Something causes, while Stoltz is cutting the rope, he's, he's scuba underwater scuba's down there and something causes him to go crazy we don't yet understand what that is um and so they finally pull him up back on and they pull his mask off and they go inside his mouth and there's a wasp in his mouth that it, it's a big wasp. Yeah, they had like huge. a murder hornet in his mouth would you immediately go to look in someone's mouth after that like with that though no but i think sarone is the one that opened his mouth because he knew it was in there. Why don't we check over here, guys? Right. This is what's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, about everybody's this. like, oh, what's going on? What did this? And Saron's like, I know what did this because I did it. It's yeah. an underwater wasp. No, like, he put the wasp put in, his in a suit. suit. But, I know, but, oh, I'm yeah, saying, but this is what everybody has to oh, believe. Yeah, I, like, I thought it was an underwater wasp too. The it's, rest of the boat. This is what he has to sell to them because he put it in his tube. He, oh, guys, there's a wasp that got in his tube. Or you know, it's like that's what I figured. He put in his scuba tube, right? And eventually, it worked its way out through the. But nobody, apparatus. but nobody in the boat. No, because we're just that means. narrative that no. a wasp swam down there and or or was just sitting in his breathing tube. 
Mm-hmm. It's weird, dude. No, it's very no, weird. Because either it was in there before he went in, or it swam down there. That's where the poor it. writing is. Well, yeah, and it's not something that a wasp is going to go into, just hang out in a tube anyway. And right. like a lone wasp, you're going to have multiple wasps around. Right. You're going to exactly. see those things. How did you get it in there? Because without getting stung, you can imagine Saron in the background. That son of a bitch! With <laughs> <laughs> He's got two chopsticks. Yeah, he's got two <laughs> chopsticks. So, oh, what's going on? Nothing. I'm nothing. I'm, I'm masturbating. Leave, leave, <laughs> leave my breathing tube alone. What are you he doing? He keeps skewering the wasps on accident. <laughs> I'm using that as a flashlight. Again. That's right. <laughs> He, uh, Saron ends up performing a dirty tracheotomy with a McDonald's straw on uh, Stoltz. First of all, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't try to do a tracheotomy if you're not a doctor. No. There's no way that you're going to be successful. You no. would have just murdered him at that Yeah. No, for sure. Bleed for out, sure. cuts his neck open, he bleeds out, he dies at the end. Uh, yeah, I, right. I don't believe I mean, it. He sticks the big pen in there, the case yeah. of the big pen. Yeah, he'll be all right. Uh, and then this Done is a hundred times on goats. We've, uh, <laughs> We got to get him to a hospital. Well, you know, there's a way we could go where there's yeah. definitely a hospital and no giant Sa- snakes. Save us two days. Okay. <laughs> you mean this place you told us to go last time? Yeah, For there's the hospital. giant snakes? There's a hospital there. <laughs> no, you, these people are all the morons. I'm not mad at John Voight. These people are all idiots. Right. Oh, no. That's a, he's, he's just using them, manipulation, because right. yeah. he knew he can get away with it. But right. so John Voight and Mateo, we don't know this yet, but we kind of do because they're just giving each other love making eyes all the time <laughs> but <clears throat> they're in cahoots why doesn't mateo make that recommendation instead now that john voight has already made that recommendation why doesn't mateo be like hey i know the river i'm your captain of right. the boat we're going this way everyone would have just been like okay yeah. i know the way we should go. you know where we're supposed to go yeah and they would have questioned much... right but the way that they're so haphazard in their scheme that everyone should have gotten onto it way sooner than they did. Right. Well, and, right. but at this point, too, everybody's like kind of on high alert because Stoltz has now got a big pen sticking out of his neck and they're like, oh, yeah, we got to get back to hospital quick. Yeah, let's go down the snake alley here and yeah. that seems fine. Well, the whole plot of the of the double cross and the, the hijacking or whatever you want to call it, it's so flimsy in the first place because like, how would they know? How'd they set this whole thing up? How, I, you know, it yeah. just, you start to pick apart right. the scheme itself and it falls apart instantly. Well, and Mateo the whole time acts like he doesn't even know where to go. Right. Which, yeah. He's the captain of the boat. Right. He, he should he's know. Sail, he's, he's their driven local guy. On this river, All this like, to go back to get his rifle and his hunting gear. Right. right. <laughs> what All a, that. Yeah. This was my mother's machete that she gave me. <laughs> <laughs> they, the boat comes upon a giant like wooden wall that's been bidden, built across the river. Um, and they wire the thing up with dynamite, which is this kind of funny line from Owen Wilson. Like, is that real dynamite? I'm glad he said that. And then he got it all wet <laughs> getting like, it over what? there. Oh what do you mean? Is that real dynamite? No, this is my fake dynamite. <laughs> it's really good for when you want to make animals think you have dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> the wall is going to be <laughs> so scared it will just shrivel up. That's right. The wall is. What the hell do you walk around with fake dynamite for? The wall is so stupid because it's yeah. like, yeah. oh, this wall is supposed to keep, obviously keep the anaconda in there. Right, uh, or people uh, out, or whatever, or, either right. one. It doesn't the snake, matter. The well, snakes can do anything. Yeah, they're, 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 they, they can slither it. any way they want. Yeah. Yeah, and John Voight's like telling them that this wasn't here before, so where did it come from? Who built it? How Am- did it get here in a couple of days? Right, Amazonian because, beavers. Because um, <laughs> Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo's on the other side of it. Yeah. Right. So how did he get past the wall? Well, he came yeah. the other way, probably. What other they way? Came from, from the snake's urethra. From what, from the snakes yeah, snake's, snake's urethra. urethra. <laughs> well, the way the way they wanted to go when they left port. Okay. So th- I'm assuming, looking they, at they the map, they went, went down back back, past that point, and now it's like, okay, we got to turn around, but it's quicker coming back up through this way we told yeah. you to go before. Oh, because they were already past where he said they right. could go. Right, yeah. I guess. So I'm assuming like Danny Trejo then went straight through and blew up the wall that was on, I don't know what it'd be, the north end maybe, whatever it is. I don't know what the direction gotcha. was on the map. but uh, All right, so they end up wiring the thing, and they do blow the crap out of this wall. With wet dynamite. Boom, with wet dynamite. <laughs> they got a little inflatable dinghy. That gets destroyed. The blue barrels on their boat all sink. <laughs> full, of full of fuel. You know a thing about barrels of fuel, Ryan? I do know about barrels of fuel. What happens when they fall in the water? They typically sink. They float, actually. Apparently, they do. (laughs) And apparently, because, you know, they're full of fuel, Baby Bird can save one. (laughs) Even though that drum alone of full is 450 pounds. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, you saved the fuel, baby bird. That's right. And there rain baby snakes <laughs> raining all over them. Every, you know, yeah, like yeah. All everywhere. Over. Like the whole wall was just filled with snakes. Uh, it was that was pretty gross. Uh, they end up finding <laughs> as they go through this other boat. I just right. imagine them building the wall and they're yeah. like, <laughs> "Sir, there's a couple of baby snakes inside the wall while they're building it." And yeah. it's like, uh, "That's not enough. You gotta you gotta get those Put numbers more, up. Yeah. Those we are rookie f- numbers. Gotta fill that up. <laughs> <laughs> fill this with snakes. It's almost done. It's that that new snake mortar you use when you build walls. They right. just one twig, twelve snakes. <laughs> one twig." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they find Trejo's boat. Uh, Mateo, Cerrone, and Danny is like, I'll come with them to film. This is when he gets in the water way steep, even though there's pee old fish in here. Um, we get to the boat. We find out that he finds a newspaper clipping that shows a picture of Mateo, Cerrone, and Trejo. So we know now that they all knew each other. Yep. That's a okay. pretty ham-fisted way to let us know. Oh, you mean, yeah. you mean getting plot information from news sources? <laughs> it's a good thing we had this newspaper clipping. <laughs> Of all of yeah. us together. Because we didn't know already because you and Mateo have been making love eyes at each yeah. other the whole freaking movie. Yeah. They just wanted to tie their ponytails together. <laughs> <laughs> they find this box of, I, I don't is that like his snake fishing? Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. It was like it was his okay. gear, like his hunting gear for yeah. poaching. That, that they end up using when they go fishing for the snake. Yeah. Or yeah. Whatever. Right. Okay. Um, they, they get the boat full of all that stupid crap out. They're all, you know, Saron and, and Danny are walking that down the river. And it's Mateo. A metal. Yeah. Bin, yeah, <laughs> they're floating on the yeah. river <laughs> yeah, right. as they walk. It's not, but apparently, oil drums and are gone. Ice Cube's yeah. like, "Careful, my camera's in there." <laughs> and Mateo, who's lagging behind, ends up being the first victim of the snake that we can actually see the snake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he comes out, twists the dude's head like the top of a beer bottle. Basically. Yeah, because yeah. you know snakes know how yeah. to snap a neck. Uh, Ice Cube is like, "We should go back." And Cerrone, who's like Mateo's his buddy, goes, "No." <laughs> Cerrone knew. He's We're like, good. nah, I'm good. We're good. Eventually, Cerrone rolls out the snake skin on the boat, right? Yeah. And he's like, dude, this thing is freaking huge. This is this is actually a three, four years old, so it's whatever it was is bigger than it is now. Right there. Yeah. Right there. I'm like, so you just pulled this bin out of the other boat. Other boat. And you find this snake skin and roll it out. How do you know it's three or four years old? Yeah. So to me, that tells me they should have just known th- what was happening. That he knew these. It's another. People. It's another time everyone should catch on, but they don't. Yeah. yeah that was his. Yeah. That was his thing. Like he's yeah. uh, he he's that's all he wants is this anaconda. You could tell by the smell that's three or four years old. That's right. Smell it. Sniff the snake. Skin. Sniff the snake. I Carbon sniff date it. the snake right. skin. I'm just going to use this as a blanket tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, another thing about snake skin. Did I wrap myself handle, in it. Handle a snake skin. It's pretty brittle. It's pretty it? brittle. There's no way you're going to roll that thing out like it's a freaking roll of gauze like that. <laughs> it you're looks just... like a looks like a what the stuff underneath the rug like the rug pad. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It looks exactly like a roll of rug pad. Right. This is the thing that killed Mateo. But hear me out. We're going to make us so much money. <laughs> We're going to make so much money. The stupidest. Like it's just dumb. Like. You write a movie, Madela. Yeah, Madela. <laughs> Everything's dumb to you. That's what that's what they're gonna say to us. Uh, I love you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the funniest all time. I know we haven't talked much about J Lo, but her character might be the dumbest out of all of them. I mean, yeah, not the, saying all females are no. questionable. J Lo specifically in this movie, dumb as a the box of hair. In the, movie. The, character yeah, the character she yeah. plays, yes. was. Yeah. She goes, Mateo's not back. We're, let's wait for him till the morning. Snakes don't eat people. Right here. The boat that he went to is right there. Where the hell could he have possibly gone that you're going to wait until the right. morning to see if he comes so back? So he swum, swum over to the riverbank and went in the woods, right. in the jungle? And no, let's not go look for him again. No. We'll just wait. He, yeah. like, he's going to come back in a day. Like like, oh, a, thank like God you cat. waited for me. Just threw him outside like he's a cat. Oh, he'll come back home. She's out there with little cat treats <laughs> shaking the box. Shaking the box. <laughs> and I think even Westridge, <laughs> even Westridge was was one that was like, what like, he's like, yeah. where the hell would he have gone? I think he calls that whole st- yeah. the, the stupidness out. Yeah. But send J-Lo with a box of, of snake treats out into the woods, snake please. Snake treats. <laughs> if that was out, if you out it's there, you want to live wave, mice I'm, she's shaking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was like Jonathan Hyde's character said, if that was me out there, I'd be dead already. Right. Yes. I right. think any human in the Amazon, you're we'll not just living wait till long. The morning. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 
just have you seen yeah. Jungle with uh dude from Harry Potter, uh Daniel Radcliffe? No, I seen Jungle to Jungle with Tim Allen. That's good too. And but, I seen a uh, Jungle Fever with Leslie Snipes. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that one. But uh that movie is incredible. It's about a guy in the, in South America in in the jungle. He gets lost and Oh, all right. You want something intense. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So we're going to we're going to zip through this next part, but basically what ends up happening is Owen Wilson ends up getting recruited over to Sarone's side cuz he promises him he's going to make all this money. And it's really stupid. A million dollars split yeah. between what? Six people? Yeah. In 1997 yeah. money. But still, still, I feel like at that point, you start kind of questioning, is that really enough? Yeah. I mean, it's what, 175000 yeah. a person or so? That? You yeah. think yeah. going to split that with everybody? No. And he's going to feed you to the anacondas and walk off with his million. Exactly. He wants to catch the snake alive. Right. Can you Where just... are you keeping it? How are you feeding it on the way up the river? Where? Are you... Who's cleaning up the poop? <laughs> These are the questions, people. My question is, why don't you just start the movie off saying, I need your boat. I want to kill this anaconda. Yeah. 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 Would you just Instead start the of, movie off like that? Like, just, I want to go hunting. And have at least one more character to plausibly if, clean up the donkey-sized poop that's coming out of this giant yeah. Like, snake. film crew, hired film crew to watch me hunt an anaconda. Right. This is right. Jeffrey. Perfect. Perfect, fi- perfect plot right there. We, we worked in a circus. Right. He used to clean up the elephant poop. That's he right. He would clean up the anaconda poop. He's good. Uh... <laughs> I, I, what was kind of stupid about the writing not earned at all is how fast Owen Wilson switched sides yeah. to the point where he reveals that he switched side and everybody's mad at him. Ice Cube's like, you know, I'm going to just kill both of y'all. And Cerrone shoots a gun and shoots like a can next to Ice Cube. And Owen yeah. Wilson, totally cool with his friend getting shot, just goes, I don't think so. You know, after this gun gets fired off, yeah. I'm like, you just went full bad guy in a span of an hour. He didn't even hook up with Red yet. Dude, it's the power right. of the seashell necklace, man. Whatever. We get to the scene where things actually start happening. It's snake fishing. It's like Jaws. He's like got this freaking rod and reel. He's got yeah. the rod and reel. He's got he's the got net. This, no, he's got his dead on, monkey. The stuffed monkey that my kid had on their bed when they were babies. <laughs> Did Is that the, where that went? <laughs> they made it to the center. They, they, they must have hey. found it and took it for anaconda. <laughs> Threw that in the garbage and ended up in the Amazon. <laughs> it's true. Your Pollution does end up in the ocean. <laughs> um, how does the boat just have this giant winch upright? I thought that's what he yeah. grabbed out of the other boat. I just but it's so no, it, big. It, it wouldn't have fit in that. Yeah, no, it, 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 it had it on there. Yeah, it, I think it had it on there. It's one of those kind of like just. It just seems ridiculous yeah. to like but it's, fish it's, for a snake. It's even more ridiculous because you think of the fishing reels they're using for Jaws. Yeah. Where they actually catch him on yeah. an, a real fishing reel, he's using a winch with a huge hook. You don't think yeah. the snake's going to see the hook and the rope that you're using? Well, the snake's and, always tilting its head sideways, so oh, it has a very limited field of vision. Cuts. Smart, big snake, you've gone under the boat. <laughs> yeah, see, when a snake, because the eyes are on top of the head, kind of, when a snake's like this, nothing can't see over here, so it's just swimming by the hook, you know? Just see his eyes roll back. <laughs> He did a very smart, very dumb. <laughs> Hooper, you don't want to swim home and get your asses down here. <laughs> Hooper, hurry up down, tie it on. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're going to need a bigger boat. Also, no one's filming, even though they're like the whole no. point of this is like yeah, film, yeah. film so this useless. thing. Okay? They get some nibbles, and then full on, there's finally a full on bite, and then pandemonium breaks out. Okay, The snake is up out of the water, struggling. You Finally, everyone can see it, and it's on, and it's getting pissed off. And J Lo, because she's an idiot, and this goes, just let him go. Okay, yes. let me reach into his mouth and pull the <laughs> yeah. hook out. Yeah, and then it definitely won't kill all of you anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, that was right? the uh, other actress, Red. That just, was Red as said. Uh, J Lo oh, yeah, said yeah. it too. Yeah, they both did. Like, it, just let it go. Let it be free. <laughs> it worked in the lost world with the baby T Rex. That's right. When they yeah, just talk let about, him go. Talk about dumb moment there. Yeah. yeah. Let's bring this baby T Rex oh. back to my RV. Thank this, you. This yeah. is not going to end well. Thank you. Hey, you oh, been I'm on so that sorry. You could have it back. Because the internet was. Th- thinks we were idiots for they making were mad fun about of that, that stupid no, thing. That, that, listen, the Lost stupid. World is, real quick, Lost World is my favorite Jurassic Park movie just for this sheer nonsense and yes. more action movie yes. it's orientation. Great. Um, Respect to the first one. But that scene with the RV, yes. I 100% agree with you guys. Because so I'm dumb. like, why in Zeus's 
butthole would you bring back a T Rex <laughs> yes. to an RV? Right. Oh, don't worry. So it's not my blood. It's the baby T Rex. <sighs> T Rexes right. have great sense of smell, just so you know. Oh, my God. Still not over uh, that. Ice Cube has his little knife. He keeps talking about it or showing his little pocket uh, knife all the time through this whole movie. He's so proud of it. He's so proud. He's going to go and shiv in the chaos yeah. now of the snake is causing. He's going to go shiv Sarone, but a little tail flick at his feet sends him flying through like a he's table. Like, he's yeah, he's like, like I want to show you what we do in South Central. That's right. <laughs> he's like, boom. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> he, got ja, he got ja ruled. He got ja ruled. <laughs> the snake catches a sight of J-Lo's backside and crashes through a freaking window. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, she's got buns, huh? That's what, exactly what happened. <laughs> Boom through the window. It's like, hey, I'm here. Ah. I love the animatronic. Not yeah. the CGI looking at part of the snakes. No. Like, oh. I get it was very 97 yeah. PlayStation. I like the animatronics. But the animatronics of the close ups are yeah. really well done. No, it's great. And this is where Sarone shoots him, darts him in the mouth with a tranquilizer. Yeah. Uh, and the thing then starts to go even more crazy. Red gets hit on the backside and goes through it. Like it has an end table hit her in the face. The TLC pandemonium. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> And I saw an interview, uh, it was on TikTok recently, I think, with uh, a clip from an interview with Ice Cube's son, mm. who is an adult now. And he said that back then, the animatronic actually went bonkers at one point, and they couldn't get the thing under control and started to just destroy the set. And oh they just kept gosh. they just kept some of those shots in. But yeah. the, just keep filming. <laughs> but the, the yeah. cast itself was terrified of the thing because it was so heavy that they thought somebody was oh, really sure. going to get injured. Right. By this thing, that's scary. Yeah, that's like a um, <laughs> Jurassic, Jurassic, Park. Jurassic Park. They had to. They were with the T Rex in the first one. They had to have like warning lights go off because no one could yeah. hear the thing. But right. there was also uh, the shark one, uh, Deep Blue Sea, mm. where they got all, all the actors got knocked with the water. Yeah, so right. Almost similar. same kind of thing. Oh, yeah, be wow. Careful with this stuff. Bruce but just sank to the just, bottom of the Atlantic. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce was not doing anything in Jaws. No. <laughs> Shark is working. <laughs> the snake is working. <laughs> Red, Red, when she gets knocked by the end table into the water, Owen Wilson dives in after her, and this is where we lose Owen Wilson. He gets wrapped up as he's trying to get back onto the boat. He gets wrapped up by the snake, and he's getting crushed, and J-Lo goes, give me your hand. Yeah, like you're going to pull against I'm stronger a... than the snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got booty power. Guess what? It didn't help. I like he... the crunch of the... of the. I like that scene where the yeah. thing crunches and it yeah. falls right into the water, and yeah. you get the shot of the thing, him rolling over. Yeah. So they do that a couple times in this movie, though, and I think it, it was cool with this scene... But they did it right. They did it before this too, in with some one of the other kill scenes. Yeah, where the snake is wrapping someone around something else. Yeah, right. Mateo is Mateo. Breaking, yeah, yeah, and then breaking yeah. into the water. And it, I feel like it was just like do it once. Right. Like don't mm -hmm. keep being like the snake's like here's another pole. I'll wrap someone around. And and if it really was crushing people like that, we should have had more eyeballs popping out of people's faces. We should have. Yeah. It really, it the was Jaguar just, it was got it. Mostly yeah. actors just going. Ugh! And then being, you know, brought into the water. I don't know. Jonathan Hyde got it the worst. <laughs> yeah. I don't, in a second, after he's being swallowed, the snake swims by with Owen Wilson in its stomach like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, as he oh, swims got by. him in his O face. This was the, <laughs> so inside the snake. Not wow. the greatest CGI for sure. <laughs> No, but for 97, you're just like, okay. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it worked I, for the split half second. Yeah. And Cerrone is now, Cerrone, Cerrone, is, Cerrone is now in Cerrone. full control of the boat at this point uh, because Ice Cube doesn't have his little knife anymore, right? Because yeah, that was going to help. That. that was kind of it. And at this point, he, this is when Cerrone goes and smacks Jonathan Hyde around a little bit like, oh, you presume? You presume that? You know? Yeah. And uh, basically starts ordering everybody around. And he's like, he's like it's like a, I'm the captain now kind yeah, of moment, right. you know, for the movie. And so that means that J-Lo knows, uh, J-Lo knows there's only one thing that can stop Cerrone. Booty blindness. Lauren didn't even understand what was happening here. <laughs> no? Because I, I understood she, immediately. Yeah, I think she right. walked out of the room and she put her lipstick on. Yeah. But then she's like, what is she doing? And I'm like, She's obviously not. Why was she putting lipstick on during <laughs> no, the scene? J Lo puts lipstick on. Lauren walked out of the room while oh, J Lo did that yeah. in the movie. Yeah. But there's obviously she's not attracted to John Voight. Who's <laughs> like Lauren's watching this? She's like, I'll put some lipstick on too. Right? So like, Lauren's like, What's well, happening? Right this, now? Uh, <laughs> you want a bowl of ice cream? This is the most forward. 
motion that this woman's doing is trying to J Lo. Yeah, yeah. I, this, this is my wife's plan. not even this forward. She's like, "Do you want a bowl of ice cream?" I'm she like, put, "She put on a chocolate or sherbet <laughs> or what kind of?" Is that an invitation? <laughs> J Lo put on a pair of yoga pants and went in there. Yeah. Oh, dude. Start and, stretching. Uh, <laughs> You're so powerful, Snake Man, or whatever stupid thing she said. grabs his hand. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Caress. I'm not going to touch you, Mueller. Yeah. Don't worry. You're a you can go for it. It's, it's been a long time since I had a woman. Let me film you like one of your snake girls. <laughs> whatever she says, I'll film you. Or she like tries to, you know. Yeah. You know, this movie was supposed to be my big break. I'm like, really? This movie? Is this your casting couch? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes to her. It's been a long time. And then kisses her as hard as I've ever seen anyone kiss it anybody before. It looked uncomfortable. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think she chipped a tooth or something. Like, that's how hard and fast this guy came in it's, here to give the kiss. the teeth kissing from, uh, well, yeah. what's that? Big hit. Big hit. Yeah. You ever yeah. do that? You actually kiss your wife too hard and you hit the teeth? Yeah. You just kind of teeth. You're once. just like, yeah. ow. That's and, and, I'm over it. <laughs> so Ron, see, as he's kissing J-Lo, he opens his eyes like a Psychopath. Oh yeah. Okay. What do you? What the first of all? What the hell are you doing? He knows what's up. Yeah. Second of all, he looks up in his rear view mirror that he just has there, and sees Ice Cube is pointed at the door. I think maybe he heard the door. Yeah. It'd be plausible anyway that he heard the the door creak a little bit. Ice I mean, Cube's it was coming in boat. to get him. And all right, if J Lo comes up to you and tries to start macking on you, though. You're gonna know something's up. Yeah. You're like, hold on, hold on. Women, Wait, women this like this doesn't don't try happen to happen to me at the gym. No, no. <laughs> no. You don't think Cerrone bought it? No, I wouldn't 100%. buy it. One hundred percent. All of a sudden, not. he's like, hold, "Wait a second, am, am I hot? hot? Are you? <laughs> no, am I? I'd hot? be like, <laughs> am I cracked at at rizzing? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> don't ever say that again. <laughs> my cracked at rizzing. That's great. What up? It's your boy Cerrone. Oh. I'm cracked at rizzing, my he's guy. Like, Is this finally gonna happen? <laughs> I, that's. I've been waiting I, a long time for you to come that kiss been, me. Bob would have lost right there because you would, you would I have, would have fell for that. Yes, you would have assumed at this point. No, like, finally, <laughs> J Lo is into me. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll be like, where are the police at? Why are you here? <laughs> no, I'm not laying a hand on this you. Is a setup. Absolutely this is not. <laughs> Oh, my I've God. seen internet TikToks where this happens. <laughs> One hand goes on your shoulder. You have me in jail. Ten to twenty. The the real. The real gangster moment from Cerrone, from Cerrone, I keep saying that now. The real gangster moment from Cerrone here is after he catches Ice Cube coming in, it's the go back for the second kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Is, oh, yeah. is the gangster moment. You want a kiss? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll kiss you right now. I'll give you a kiss. I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> Give me teeth. <laughs> For some reason, when you keep saying Cerrone, yeah. I keep thinking of his lawyer just coming out and being like, the only, <laughs> what does he say in the movie? He says, uh, the only uh, thing my client has against him is having a vowel at the end of his last That's name. Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the only thing he's guilty of. But luckily, Westridge comes in and clutches with the golf club. Yep. Yeah. He definitely right? did not replace his divot on that one. So these people... <laughs> are really bad at picking up what's happening, but they can sure put a plan together to have a backup plan. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, plan. for sure. Uh, now that they've regained control of the boat, they start to head back, and this is the part where kind of Westridge shows Ice Cube how to drive the boat. How uh, do they know how to head back? I guess you go, you just turn the boat around and go the other direction. What's hard about that? I'm assuming there's a bunch of splits in the river and stuff. Well, you just pick a cloud and follow it. Those don't move. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this tree it keeps moving as we okay, go by. Okay, so note to self, never be on a riverboat with James. <laughs> what are you following? Just following this cloud. Well, that cloud was here. Now it's all the way over there. You, you know where you're going, right? Oh, yeah. You've driven a boat before? Yeah. hundred times. hundred times. I just wish when Ice Cube started driving it, it would have been like had hydraulics. You know? Oh, that's right. 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 That would have been. The that snake has the hydraulics later when he gets in the it water. Does. It does. Uh, it's, Ice Cube drives it. He immediately crashes. Oh, look, a waterfall crashes the boat. I'm like, great. Way to let him I, drive. Uh, what, was Pam Anderson on that waterfall? Like, <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Terrible steering. <laughs> so now the boat is grounded. and I thought she had skin cancer. <laughs> <laughs> they've got to get the boat out. And so he's like, all right, Westridge, you take the rope. You know, I'll take, you know, put the tie that around Let's all take here. three ropes. Don't even start. Dude, Ice Cube, I'll, you know, I'll just say it. Ice Cube was a better wincher than Eddie was in Jurassic Definitely. Park. He didn't <laughs> yes. fall down once. <laughs> no. Okay? Not once. But why did three of them get in the water? To go diversification, man. Directions. You got to go diversify. opposite directions. Right. It's the stupidest plan. Send one person You're with stupid. a rope. You're <laughs> stupid. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why do you need to go separate ways? You still have the winch on the back of the boat. You Hook gotta, that you, up you to You diversify tree. your winches. 
You diverse. Explain to me how this helps. One winch fails. You don't have another winch. You're done. But if you set up winches in every direction, then one fails. You still have more winches. You know what the problem with everyone getting off the boat is? What's that? You leave one person with the guy you have tied up, and you have three people in the water. What's in the water? Penis catfish and a huge <laughs> snake. Fair enough. And piranhas. I'm and piranhas. And, and the well, anaconda. And, if Eddie and had been in this, if Eddie had been on this boat, they all would have died right here, right then and there. Don't. Okay? That's you all shut saying. your whore no, mouth. No, I'm just saying okay, right Eddie now. Eddie is an American hero. I'm just saying right now, Schwarzenegger would have pulled it out. I want a new no award. Problem. Thank you. I want an Eddie award. Never. Okay? Never. <laughs> For someone who never stops. Yeah. We don't never stop. We don't give awards to hacks. Okay? He had his foot on the pedal the whole time. Yeah, so you say. You, I'll see you in hell, sir. <laughs> That horseshoe guy you're talking about, Eddie from Lost World? Yes. The horseshoe haircut? Dude. Yes. Dude. Yeah. Who failed he, and fell down 100 he's times He's a trying hero. To save he was trying to save their lives. He should have tried harder. <laughs> he kept right? the, the rig Dude, from... He kept there were the two T-Rexes, and he was like, I'm like, he can't even de- deal with two T-Rexes while he's trying to save his friends? Dude. Please. You would have crapped your pants and died immediately. No, I wouldn't have. I would have used Straight the up. smell of the crap to How my How many advantage. T-Rexes could you and, fight? And go- That's what I want to know. What's I, your number He didn't have to fight. He just had to save his friends. If he would have stopped revving, if he was revving the engine, the T Rexes know you what's are going on. Falling into his, <laughs> it's just revving you up. All right, Ryan, you're an ignorant. Sweat. I'm on team. I Let's go. I will die on this hill. <laughs> I'll say I was on team Eddie. All right, I'll fine. give Eddie the benefit of the doubt. Eat Let's it. move on to Anaconda here. All right, <laughs> so uh, all right, while they're in the water with the winches, uh, Red rolls up on Cerrone to kill him with a knife, but she didn't count on the old man being a damn gymnast. Because hey, this isn't a gymnast, dude. He's sitting on his butt. He uses ass power to jump twelve <laughs> feet in the air. To jump twelve feet. Also, in the his air. feet were not tied in. Yeah, yeah. Like so, his feet were not tied. They were tied together, weren't they? No, no. they weren't. He's that's the, how he was able to put his yeah. legs around her. He's the only one at Planet Fitness that's using that machine where you squeeze. <laughs> The, the 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 basic instinct machine. Yeah, the yeah. only machine that women use at the gym. Yeah, That's right. And make direct eye contact. Yeah, with you and be like, why they, are you staring at me? Yeah, I don't know because you're you're painted on clothes. Or it's distracting me. Because you're flexing your <laughs> well. He kills her with his legs. He chokes her out and prays the whole time. It was kind of cold blooded while he's pretty, doing yeah. that. Um, bye bye, baby. Bye. Why go up to him in the first place? Yeah, I don't know. She's like, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah. What? Uh, by doing? herself. She yeah. This, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the people in the water have to run because the snake shows up. And this is when J-Lo, because again, idiot, r- yells to Westridge, get up on the rocks. Yeah. What I was like, what is this? Tremors? Is there a graboid somewhere or what? Because <laughs> the anaconda is not going to slither up the rocks. It can climb the rocks. It's a freaking snake. Right. Uh, have, okay. Well, even them getting to the boat is stupid because in the previous night, when the snake attacked them, right? He's rampaging on top of the boat. It can get on the boat. People it can do right. all this stuff. You absolute fucking moron. <laughs> so uh, here's another funny thing. It wraps around Ice Cube. Yep. And she shoots the damn thing in the head, and part of the head explodes three times. Yeah. Three, three times. times. Yeah. yeah. And then Westridge gets the snake's attention, and then that's when they like go up the. Well, that's after it. Oh, okay. I'm, my apologies. No, no, it's fine. So Westridge dies before. It gets ice cube. Yeah. Oh, Cause okay. Because it, it has him run up the run up the rocks. He ends up trying to hide behind a waterfall on the snake. Like in like, the Lost World. It's just like, yeah. What's up, dude? Yeah, you know, exactly. I, I, I know like, oh, there's a T Rex like, really come gonna, through oh, this waterfall. Oh no, water! I can't go through water. The snake's like, I totally know you're back here. It's like, <laughs> snake's, what are you doing? <laughs> like I see. <laughs> so, <laughs> snake's like, I, see you, I can smell you. Snake's like, I've seen <laughs> yeah. this. I've seen this trick before. He tries to just dive off, and he just catches Westridge midair. The snake does. Yeah. You know, my homie and Isla Zorna. Same thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Eats him up. But the, the tree that the snake is wrapped around ends up collapsing and falls on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. This or not, falls on the boat. The least, this is the least realistic tree I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, did oh, you yeah. see the tree that he's yeah. in? The paper mache tree? It's yeah. twigs at the top yeah. and a big pole that's about three feet wide. Yeah, Just a ridiculous. big round yeah. stump. Wow. Ridiculous. And this thing hits the boat, and this is when they all scatter into the water because it hits the boat, and that's when Ice Cube gets grabbed by yeah. the snake yeah. and wrapped up. And he's, again, it's like, the, give me your hand, and he's reaching for J-Lo, like, J-Lo, don't worry, I'm using my arm power. Right. She and goes, hold on a second. Out. Hold on. He does, he, she does, <laughs> she does say it. Hold on, Danny. Uh, d- you know what? I'll uh, be right back. I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny's like, I'm thinking, 
I'm hanging out a freaking ledge. Man. I'm gonna put you on a brief hold. Right. Call the paramedics. <laughs> have them meet me with the gurney. <laughs> I got wrapped around. Snakes wrapped around me. <laughs> He's like, hold on while you pack. <laughs> I don't really think you should be moving right now. <laughs> I the freaking this is okay. J Lo picks up. A bolt action rifle. That rifle would have yep. flew her twenty feet back. And <laughs> fires three consecutive shots <laughs> yeah. without ever operating the bolt action yep. on the gun. So you can get this right. <laughs> you figured this part out. Okay. That's not realistic. That's not that's fine. Blows part to, of the snake's head off. They yes. So they don't stupid. have to show it. Right. But you think like, oh, that might have been a kill that should have been a kill shot. Bolt action rifles yes. are actually pretty powerful. This yep. thing's not a shark. Probably a 308. The skin's very from internet's going to correct yes. us. It's not as not like shark skin no, or right. like anything no. like right croc through. skin. Like croc no. skin bullets don't really. Snakes are notoriously squishy. Yeah. Yeah. Like yes. if it's an alligator, good luck. I mean that's yeah. that that skin's no. hard as a rock, but. <laughs> <laughs> you think this would kill it? Yeah, that rifle's taking that snake out. Right, like yeah. the head would be exploded. Yeah. Do you imagine if Dirty Harry walked I, on set? I don't know if it explodes. It's a forty-four right. Magnum. Because that that snake head's like this big. Snake, you gotta ask yourself one question: <clears throat> Did I fire six shots or seven? <laughs> well, the truth is, I lost. <laughs> I lost count in all this excitement. All right. But being this is a forty-four Magnum, the most powerful <laughs> handgun in the world, it will blow your head clean off. He was living in a tree in the jungle. Why is Dirty Harry there? He's on vacation. <laughs> he, he comes out looking like Swiss Family Robinson, like his clothes are all torn up. You got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Do well, you? Punk. punk. <laughs> Just blast. <laughs> Snake's, head ex- Snake's head explodes and it cuts to the atom bomb dropping. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. And and for the, throughout the movie, when they shoot this rifle, they're only usually, shoot, usually shooting it one at a time. So if you don't want to go through the yeah. whole thing with doing the bolt action, fine. Right. But at this part where they fire three consecutive shots in a row, and li- one time it's like literally the butt of the gun is up, up over her arm where it would have flown it back out of her yeah. hand. <laughs> right. But she's just going, uh, uh, like well, this. And so right after this, when 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 Saron gets it, yeah, he he has to use the bolt action. Right. Yeah, he shoots right. it. Use the bolt action. Right, like immediately. Because what happens here is Sarone comes out of nowhere after saving Danny from the snake, uh, takes her down, and is about to shoot Ice Cube. He like lines up the gun, and I just want him to be like, "Guess today is a bad day," you know, <laughs> like right before he shoots yeah. him. But then this time for real, it's Stoltz in time because Eric Stoltz comes back from the dead to stab the dude in the back with a trank dart. He would have been he's aware dead. That, that, <laughs> that hole in his neck, you're, that one line of gauze is not stopping blood flow. Tracheotomy even, boy would have been dead. Even yeah. if he survives it and somehow must you know have the strength to get up, just miraculously he gets up, finds a knife. Yeah. How is he going to know Sarone's bad? Well, he exactly. found a tranquilizer. He found yeah. a tranquilizer. Or know where the tranks are. Because they showed him when the tree fell on the boat, he showed him still in bed, and it just kind of slightly jostled him. you know. Like, yeah. uh, but he was still out, and not that much longer. He's up here saving the day. But also who's dead would be Sarone, because Sarone gets freaking darted in the back of the neck, punched he's, out in the face by the best action, and sinks to the bottom of this river. And he's choking yeah. him. Tranked. And then he's like, oh, no, the right. tranquilizer fell out. Doesn't it just inject you? It's just it's yeah. in your system, dude. It's too yeah, late. It, and then where did the snake go? Dead, dead, They killed dead. the snake. The snake, that yeah. snake, snake died. There's a second snake. It's two snakes. Did you thought that was one snake the whole time? There's two snakes? There's two snakes. Yeah. Two snakes. Really? They're different colors, They're too. different colors. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's why you were confused about the headshots of the snake. Because that's why I'm like, the you fucking, thought, they, you, I thought it was the same damn snake. No, I'm like, where's that bullet wound? Too. You it's, thought the snake came back with like, you thought I was dead, but I'm not. <laughs> wow. No, it, the vodka was flowing that night. Can you <laughs> damn believe it? it? <laughs> wow. You believe it. I had no, a Jessica Simpson moment. Is it chicken or fish, honey? No. <laughs> no, I'm like kidding. I love Jessica no, Simpson. It's, it's, uh, it's two different snakes, and they're two different sizes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of them's 40 So she did kill one snake. Yeah. That's this. P.S. That where the f- <laughs> flipping flapping did this other snake come from? The uh, the, the snake house where they go to that big stupid boathouse. Yeah. That's where the snake lives. The thing is, is how did they know there was another snake? Why did they say <laughs> that one's bigger? Why did they indicate that there's another snake? Like I don't know. Like the Meg, they go have a, yeah. Have a, when the well, Meg comes out of the water and yes. eats the other one, can you're you like, believe that was ten times one? more huge? Right. They tell the audience like. 
Yeah. Yeah, that one's bigger. They just no have some di- have some dialogue from somebody going, Are you freaking kidding me? There's another one. Some, yeah, something. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? There's another snake. That's where you'd have Ice Cube give that exposition. I'm right. tired right. of these mother trucking <laughs> snakes <laughs> yeah. on this mother trucking river. That's right. <laughs> Where was Sam Jackson in this movie? We needed him hard. <laughs> you know how many great movies you came up with in this right. episode? Have you, <laughs> go ahead. I'll, I'll go talk. ahead, quick. No, we'll do it in the after show. You sure? Remind me. That oh. is stupid writing. Do you remember what it was? Yeah. Okay. I'll put uh, it on my phone. All right. The boat is no longer stuck after the snake is dead. Because there's a stupid line dialogue from Isaac. Good thing the tree knocked us loose. Okay. It yeah, because on top of them, <laughs> tying the <laughs> boat off in three different directions was going to knock it loose. I think that would have. It's not Typically like it was what like you a do when you want to hold it there. <laughs> it's like the Santa from Santa with muscles. <laughs> the tree came in, just, just they could have had to the that side. just out there in the Amazon. The Santa from right. Santa with muscles. Let's just throw Santa out there and knock it loose. Dwarves from Snow White. I yeah. hope, I <laughs> hope. I'm knocking your boat alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to question whether or not we should give advice on how people should make. Their movies. No, I think we should. <laughs> we're no, just going to reference it, it, terrible just, movies no, and actors I, in them. I, I, it's I, we've made yes. we've made movies. It's like we've yes. I've made like the movies movie way worse I than made. This. You know, you can poke holes in it all the time, and I know, yeah. but it's it's just funny. It is. I'm just joking. And look, they find this old busted boathouse, and Ice Cube's like, maybe they got some fuel in this building that's yeah. falling apart. The only that and that's actually Which a legitimate is fine. thing. Which is fine. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's not the biggest problem with this. Yeah, the no. question okay. is, what did they change the name to that wasn't Anacondas? My <laughs> well, then you can't have a sequel. Right, because all of these other movies with a, with a it's killing singular. animal. Like there's always Alien. A single, yeah, there's One always a Alien. That's the, that's the right. surprise, right? That's their yeah. twist that they did a crappy job in. That was alien. crappy marketing. You should have yeah. said Anacondas, yeah. and then you yeah. could... Yeah. <sighs> this place looks like a crime scene. <laughs> It, there's freaking like you know bones and crap all over yeah. the place. And I, like one guy goes, I, I, I don't even want to know what happened here, man. But then he says again, maybe they got fuel. <laughs> maybe a lot of dead homies What's here. The maybe dude's they got name? fuel. Ice Cube? boy. Oh, Cerrone. Cerrone. I can't forget. Or yeah. I can't remember his name. He walks up to a pile of talcum powder. And yeah. He's like, these are bones. <laughs> like. What? Yeah. Well, for those, if you're confused about that, Cerrone, this is when Cerrone comes back. Because last we found him, he was drowning in the river, right? And Cerrone comes out of nowhere, knocks them out, ties them up together on a net as bait for this other second giant snake. That they and, don't say anything yes. about. And it's so right. while they're tied up that he's like, oh, look at all this baby powder. Yeah. It's a human bone. It's how it comes out his butt. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just, I don't think that's how that works. You go in like a this, you come out like a this. Why am I Italian now? Because <laughs> he's Cerrone. I mean, we've been sounding like Scarface this whole time, and it's been great. Yo, cockroach. Yo, he's, cockroach. He's snorting the bones. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you want to try and eat me? Okay. <laughs> Say hello oh, to my, my little friend. He's draining. He's got like a dead monkey. He's draining the blood out of into a bucket. There's no much. That's not much. You know how much blood that's in a tiny monkey? I know. And that, that bucket was it's full. It's a five-gallon bucket. That, it was and full. That's like 16 monkeys' that's, bloods that's worth. Like six, Google that, please, internet. <laughs> how many monkeys? Does it take to fill a bucket full of blood? I want to know because this is bull crap. I'm Hold tired on. of this. The FBI crap. is calling me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, also, he dumps the blood on them. Why not just cut them? Yeah. In a way, too, where they can't get away if they get loose or whatever. Like cut their Achilles tendon. Oh, Sorry. Geez, <laughs> I'm just saying he's a bad guy. He wants them to Psycho die anyway. Psycho over here. Yeah. That's why you're on the horror wheel <laughs> Sorry, show, right? So practical. <laughs> Why well, would you slice these prisoners' Achilles tendons so they I can't get away? I know how to do this stuff. I got an idea. Let's lure them. Not that hard, people. Oh, my God. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. No one's ever gotten out of my basement before. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. All right, I got to go. Um, and you people say I'm sus. The snake takes the bait. <laughs> The snake goes, you know, takes the bait, starts to wrap up Ice Cube and J Lo, um, but and and then before he can do the coup de gras, uh, Cerrone captures the whole thing in a net. You know, think of like Ewok style, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Pulls the whole thing up, but the snake, the snake is too strong. It breaks the pipes down that they're rigged on, and the net comes down. And now the now the snake doesn't give a crap about J Lo and Ice Cube anymore. Now it wants Cerrone, who couldn't quite hit the trank shot he wanted. I question the snake's ability to perceive that Cerrone. Caused the net <laughs> was a bigger threat. I mean, I was yeah, that, so is that a crossbow he's aiming at me? <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait a second. You just dropped a net on me, you <laughs> son of a. He looked at the rope, followed the rope up, followed it back to him. He's got the rope in his hands. <laughs> yeah, you son of a... <laughs> snakes are very sentient. <laughs> Wait a second. Roy Scheider would have killed this snake right. oh, twenty five minutes ago. Tie themselves up yeah. for me to eat. 
one of those blue barrels of fuel on the boat. Yeah. He would have like installed an electric fence and stood behind it That's and exactly. just tapped, like did something. Come on. Come on. Come just, on, you slither bastard. <laughs> I just wanted J-Lo to lean back with that rifle and be like, smile, you son of a bitch. Perfect. <laughs> that would have been great. Perfect. Uh, the snake snatches up and wraps around John Voight and swallows him up. And I thought the the shot inside the mouth was cool. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Gross yeah. as hell. The outside Very shot cool. was a little Very rough. Cool. Yeah. The, when his face starts, like the blood vessels start to pop yeah. into the, yeah. 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 That He's was cool. Still squinting somehow. I was He's talking about the snake was actually trying to eat him. The CGI yeah. of that was just kind of yeah. weird. A little weird. Yes. Was, well, I get what they were trying. I appreciate the shot, but I was just like, once he's For in sure. the snake, though, then the snake starts being like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. The s- snake gets the same I know we need sneer. to go this way on the river. He's like, oh, I'm in a snake. <laughs> yeah. This is not good. And the snake <laughs> starts doing that, though. Yeah, that's right. Now the snake starts talking like <laughs> All right, at this point, the snake starts to chase J-Lo down through the place and down the pier, and I couldn't help it. I just said, she don't be scared of the snake on the dock. It's still it's still Jenny from the block. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other thing. How is she out running a snake? <laughs> I don't get it. You don't know that song? No. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still I'm still Jenny from the block. It's like her most famous song, dude. I don't What? Not familiar. <laughs> How dare you? Wow. Who How do you not that? know Jenny from the block, dude? Who sings it? How oh Jenny? Oh. That's the joke. I don't listen to bad music. <laughs> oh my God. You're going to be relegated I to bad music I... rules. <laughs> that you're going to, you're going to, we're going to create that show just for you to sit on. There's a reason she's not that popular with music, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> she's sing, still... it, sing it with me, Ryan. Don't be I don't scared know of the, the snake on the dock. No. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. <laughs> Used to be a little one. Now it's. Fat. <laughs> I think you're probably doing a better job than she did. <laughs> oh wow! The I'm J-Lo. Playing, I'm, f- I'm going to play for you okay. in the post show. Let's J-Lo's. Do it. J-Lo's fans are coming for Madela. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Come at me. <laughs> he says that. I basically rewrote an entire new song, and you just stared at me. That that might be the worst a joke has ever gone over. <laughs> <laughs> but all our listeners will appreciate. They will. They will. You Fun. know. Okay. This is the second time you've had musical issues with me. What was the other one that you didn't know about? I don't don't remember. Some old person song. (laughs) You were like, back in my day, we used to listen to the real hippie black pop and dap. All right. The snake regurgitates Cerrone, who wakes up just long enough to wink at at J-Lo. Yeah. Like it it literally sits John Voight's down. He's all gooey. Yeah. And he winks at her. I feel like it was supposed to be like a reflex where he's just blinking. But his other eye was already messed up. Right. But it was stupid. It came across as a. Well, hey, he had the sneer on his like, face, uh, too. So he's just like kiss? winking. I still got a shot at this or what? <laughs> I mean, you got to respect the game. Dude's half regurgitated and he's like, hold on a second. So are we going to like, is this happening? <laughs> I mean, it seems kind of like fate that he just put me right here down next yeah. to you. He was right? also really eaten up already from the <laughs> stomach was. acid. Yeah, he like, was. I don't think stomach acid. Not that fast. Not, well, snakes take days to digest <laughs> food like anyway. Like three minutes so, later. Yeah. God. Right. He already I, looks like freaking uh, basket case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ice Cube pins the tail of the snake to the pier with a pickaxe, and he's like, get up. This She's up by this tower, like a smokestack, yeah. basically. Find the loot box. And he's like, get up out of the tower so I can blow this thing up because he's dumping fuel. Uh, turns mm-hmm. out they did have fuel. All yeah. the fuel gets <laughs> dumped like, out, though. Dumped it out. He's, he's like, I want to light this snake on fire. Get out the tower. So she climbs up the tower, and she can't get out the freaking door. And I thought it was locked. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the trap door well, at the top. I thought it was Before, it turns out she's just an idiot. She's just incompetent. Before yep. she tests it, though, she says, "I'm good." Right. <laughs> Go ahead. And she's just pushing where the hinge is. She's pushing where the hinge of the door is. And he's that's, like, "Push the other side." Oh, and, that's, then, and then it yeah, opens, opens right, right up. up. I mean, that's like me when I go to a store and I use the wrong door. <laughs> Push, not pull. <laughs> Push, and I go. Oh, hey, oh, how you hey, doing, boy, guys? Hey. Hey. So she eventually is able to get out the top. Now the snake's head is out the top of the smokestack. Yeah. She jumps into the water. Uh, Ice Cube lights the the gas. Well, no, she's dangling there because she said, I can't jump. It's too far. Oh, yeah. He lights it. Snake Turn- explodes. Turns out tower it's not explodes. too far. She falls off the tower. Wasn't too far. No. The, they, they lights the fire. So, yes, because he uses the fire hose as a wick. Good thing blows little bird the whole saved thing a up. second barrel. Yeah, that's, there's the other thing. They're using the fire hose as a wick with a little match. That won't yes. happen. <laughs> she Tell jumps right into the water. The fire hose is flammable. But the, the snake is still very much alive. 
I felt yeah. like it, like like a yeah. final boss. I'm like this is its third evolution, right? The fire snake yes. version. Yes. Now you got to watch out for its jump attack. Now you have to. <laughs> it's Jaws two snake. No, right? it's, yeah. No, many... it's a flame throwing snake. It spits fire like a dragon. This is though. where he yeah. starts using hydraulics. He lands on the water on the water. He doesn't right. land in the water. And he starts floating over the water to get to her. Right. All on fire. Right. Like, just dive under the water, bro. You're on fire. The snake is on fire in the water. Well, it's almost like the girl in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood that gets flame oh, yeah, yeah. in his Great. pool. Yeah. And she just, she just won't sink. Yeah. Yeah. You know, she's I in love the water. That scene. Well, <laughs> ain't alive. The snake isn't physically able to float on the water like that. When snakes yeah. are in the water, they're slithering right under the surface because their swimming. head is above right. Water. Their head similar is to an alligator or crocodile. Right. Yeah. So there's no way that he's floating above the water all on fire. Right. It's a damn movie, Madela. It's a good point. I don't care. It's stupid. And sharks eat power lines. And then JLo's like, music sucks. And then JLo's like, "Did we get him?" <laughs> and I was wrong, actually. Turns out, Smoke, Smoky Snake is actually the final evolution because the thing comes out <laughs> again, and he has to pickaxe. Yeah. He had to pickaxe into the pier, or whatever. <laughs> Fifteen you know. minutes of him just tink, tink, tink. <laughs> and then Ice Cube says. We should get the fuel. And I'm like, what fuel? You just blew it all up. You blew, you blew the whole place up. up. Mm. Blew it up. What freaking fuel is there? The snake. Dana, sh- then- Dana doesn't usually shout. She shouted that at the television. She's like, what fuel? You blew it up. Yeah. The snake got ice cubed. <laughs> <laughs> he dumped it all, lit yeah, it all on fire. And the two of you are going to get the fuel. Right. The two of you. Just them walking barrels down these steps. The 500-pound barrels. <laughs> So stupid. You can maneuver those. I can tell you, you can maneuver those barrels when they're about half empty. When they're full like that, it's you need something it. to move them. Yeah, you need a barrel move. You yep. need a barrel dolly or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Or you're just doing this, and it's a pain. Yep. Right. They actually had him, and they just didn't right. put any of those scenes in. Eric Stoltz is fine. They wake up. They're sailing back on the boat, and all of a sudden, oh. they free. They see these freaking natives coming down on their canoes, and I just wanted the natives to be like. Did anybody see our giant pet snake? You guys, <laughs> Luffy. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they got the little mouse treats. Ten year old shaking it. <laughs> like, oh crap! We, no, we haven't. We haven't seen it. They fact, killed their god. We don't speak English, and they, you know, Sprechen Deutsch. Sprechen Deutsch, and they get out of there. They had to throw the tribe in at the last second they had to, to just be like, and they're, they're all like, and oh. everything worked out for the good. That's right. Oh, Ice Cube's wow. still not filming it. <laughs> He's still that. Where's the camera? She, that's another thing. She doesn't do anything a movie director would ever do. No. Eric Stoltz, no. totally fine. Totally and how fine. does his camera still work after all this? Who he knows? jumps in the water 12 times. He's, Boat gets dis- destroyed. Yeah, it, there's no Who way knows? his camera survives. Regardless, though, that's the end of the movie. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> We can stop fielding questions on when we're going to do Anaconda now. <laughs> no, we got to do two, three. I've seen two. We got to get to the Hoff. That's right. Got to do it. I haven't seen that one. Um, before getting to the Hoff, though, how about we get to the Arnold? How oh, about God. the Arnold Schwarzenegger? Now, imagine Anaconda 1997, big hit at the time. Yep. Mm-hmm. Imagine how much it would have hit the stratosphere if Arnold Schwarzenegger had been in the movie. If you put Anaconda, take Anaconda in 1997 and yeah. made it in 1986. Yeah. During in between Predator and Commando, I'm saying, dude. yeah, oh man, would have been fantastic. Just and Arnold staring cat, at the snake would, face to face. Here's the yeah. cast: Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bill Paxton, yeah. Michael Bean against a snake. I, I guess James Cameron's directed if that's the cast. Dude, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All these guys. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. So instead of him doing the instead of him doing the abyss, they do Anaconda. Anaconda. I mean, he already made Piranha. James Cameron. Yeah, he point, did make Piranha. Right? So have him do a heightened version of that. Yeah, in the jungle. Oh, with dude. Arnold? With Arnold, Michael Bean, and yes. uh, Bill Paxson. You could throw Charlie Sheen in there. He's got tiger blood. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> monkey blood is what we're Mon- looking for in this <laughs> monkey one. Blood. Monkey blood. I got monkey blood. You just drain Charlie Sheen. <laughs> uh, Dump it on him. Well, well, but times you'd end up high. <laughs> the, the snake would end up high after That's he right. whatever it was. Anyway. Come on, do it. Now, but if we have to put Arnold Kill in me. this movie... I think you got to make him Sarone, right? You do. Sarone, sure. They got, you could. My yeah. boat is, I'm stranded out here. Somebody stop and help me. My boat is crashed. He's still squinting. You know, where are you from? I'm from Paraguay. <laughs> What's the priest? Okay. It's extremely. He just, it always sounds like Arnold, no matter what accent yeah. he's trying yeah. to do. Like right? Kevin Costner and Prince of Thieves. <laughs> right. Yeah. I exactly. love it. Exactly. Love it. And just have him be the bad guy yeah. in the movie. 
Like an anti-hero. An yeah. anti-hero, whatever, yeah. right? You change and, the character a little bit. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm, ta- I'm talking no, over me. No. I apologize. Yeah, I was going to say, you wouldn't, need it, you, know, you wouldn't need to have the whole fishing rig. You just punch the anaconda on the top of the head. <laughs> That's what Caught I'm him. saying. Done. It sticks out and he thumps it yeah. like he does with <laughs> a camel. Right. Chain reaction explosion. Yeah. Right. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Each Vertebrae. part of the anaconda just bursts. <laughs> Vertebrae pops out of the... Or is it an invertebrate? Do they have vertebrates? Yeah, I don't think they, oh, yeah. They, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. snake it, skeletons I've seen. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, okay. I think it's just the vertebrae and the skeleton. And that's it. That's it. Yep. That's just all yeah. mush. Yep. Listen to me. This river can kill you in a thousand ways. They only kill you in one way. With my hands! <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh. Uh, yeah. They can just... Uh, n- here's another funny thing I like to play around with. Yeah. Will Smith. Put both Smith and Ganaconda. Just we can slap it like Chris <laughs> Rock. Slap it. <laughs> Keep uh, my friends out of your go. effing <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at you. Look at you tying up people. That's right. <laughs> well, I thought of one way, too. Yeah. What if we threw Ja Rule in here as like oh, the God. birdie for the, the Anacondas are playing badminton with Ja Rule? <laughs> Be flying everywhere, dude. <laughs> or... Con Air makes a detour to the Amazon. <laughs> hey, my name is Cameron Poe. <laughs> I'm here trying to get home to my wife and Casey. <laughs> but I somehow ended up in the jungle. They so. pull up on a plane crash right. instead of the boat. I can't. We should go this way. And then when, when he meets uh, Sarone, who's like, I used to be a priest, but I don't believe God exists anymore. I'm going to show you God does exist. <laughs> When he finally sees the snake, he goes, hold on. I got human shrunken heads in my mansion. (laughs) You don't have to do this. We can pray together. (laughs) Neil Cawford playing along with his Patreon says, uh, make Arnold play Sarone. I know people are going to joke about making Arnold the snake, but I just want to see Arnold add the anaconda to his animals I've punched list. (laughs) Just like you're saying, right? 100% agree. 100% agree. Uh, Kyle Green said, should be the snake, just dislocating his jaw, making the noises, and then swallowing you. (laughs) Arnold does the king... uh, uh, the yeah. Godzilla thing when he separates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. King Kong. I would like to see him maybe try to do a South American accent, but it would just come out the same. And uh, I'm here to kill the snake. Right? I mean, yeah. yeah. That is his South American <laughs> accent, yeah, Kyle. Is. That's like, what we're don't saying. Cha- you don't change accents for Kevin Costner. You don't change no. accents for Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. Nathan Broderick said, if he played Danny Trejo's part, the movie would have been over in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold's killing himself, then it's... But, yeah. well, oh, but he would no, he would have just killed the snake. Yeah, right? he would have just killed the snake. Not a very long movie He'd be yet. calling the radio be like, it's okay, I'm taking care of it. That's right. <laughs> I'm just called the snake police to tell you that this snake is the one that needs the police. <laughs> Stop ruining my floorboards. <laughs> I just installed those. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I'm a cop, you idiot. <laughs> Put my crew down now! Right. No, you're not gonna kill me. You're not gonna kill me at all. That's right. Give me, give me back my steering wheel. Kill me at all. You son of a bitch. That's right. <laughs> On your way out. <laughs> On your way out, you tell the other snakes. Collect your little baby snakes from the wall. That's right. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, man. So Rowan just opens the bag yeah. of the dynamite and, yeah. and Owen Wilson goes, he is that a real Arnold? <laughs> <laughs> so they yeah, like they light... just put Arnold on the wall, it blows right. up. I like Perfect. to light my cigars with dynamite. So I... <laughs> <He> just... <laughs> and it throws it at the wall. <laughs> blows it up. Uh, he goes, I'd love to see him in John Voight's role because the monologues would have been legendary, but I think it would have put him in the role of the snake if it was him. He wouldn't even need a costume. He would just wrap his arms, his victims in his enormous arms. You know, just it uses pythons, literally yeah. his arms, yeah. to just choke the dudes out. That'd be good. And it kind of is a reference to... for a for a uh, ancient ancient yeah. legend of man that lives down there. That's right. Yeah, you'll actually surprise. I think you're gonna like Eric Valov's opinion here about what to do with Arnold in this movie. Okay, he it's surprisingly good. He goes make an appearance as Dutch. He just comes out of the jungle <laughs> and kills the snake. Yeah, <laughs> there are worse things in the jungle than this. And he sets up a Predator sequel. Ah, oh, right. That's so good. Come on, Predator versus Anaconda. <laughs> Predator out there in the sand, dude. The Predator would die. Right. Anaconda. Half, half of Amazon would be gone yeah. <laughs> if the Predator <laughs> just blow up all over. Be awesome, dude. Oh, I love Predator. Let's uh, let's start giving them some awards out here, and we're going to start with the most prestigious award we give out. It's the Will Patton Award for Intensity for the most intense actor in the film. You want a war? I'll give you. 
Awesome. I don't want them to gain another yard. You blitz all night! And if they cross the line of scrimmage, I'm gonna take every last one of you out. You make sure that they remember forever the night they played the Titans. All right, guys. So, lots of intense performances here. Lots of screaming, yelling, quiet, sweaty intensity. But, Bob, who is your nominee for the Will Patton Intensity Award? I'm going to have to go with John Voight. Yeah, man. John Voight. He, Raul Julio, did. <laughs> I, I love that term. I'm just, yeah. That's a big new term I'm yeah. going to say when people just go for it in crappy movies. Yeah. That's the perfect analogy for this. So, he understood what he had to do, and he did it. Awesome. Agree with his ask, uh, his accent or not? No, don't care. I mean that's ridiculous. Yeah, to just just have him be John Voight. Why couldn't he just be an American down there? Right, hunting, hunting? like an American yeah. poacher. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, you gotta say, oh, he's from Paraguay. Yeah, you don't need him. Like, Unnecessary. You can have him play a different, like have him play that same character, but just don't call him that name right. or have him from Paraguay. But. Exactly. Uh, Neil said John Voight also. Look, as much as I wanted to give this to Ice Cube, I couldn't deny the fact that Voight was cranked up to twelve on the epic creep factor. Despite his horrible accent, I genuinely feel like I needed a shower after watching him. I think that's pretty that's pretty accurate. You're yeah. not wrong. Yeah. Not wrong. Mueller, who you got for Will Patton? I too thought Ice Cube just for some of the faces yeah. he made throughout the movie, he did like the Ice Cube thing, but he shouted almost every line of dialogue yeah. that he had. Too. Yeah. But ultimately I I gotta go with John Void as well. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh Kyle also went in John Voigt. He's a man from New York playing a man from South America with an accent like Scarface. His facial expressions, his wink after he got spit out by the snake. I dig it. That's four straight votes for John Voight, and I am going to be the fifth straight vote for John Voight. Absolutely. I mean, dude, yeah. just when the cutaways to him staring at people perfect. with his upside-down yeah. smile and, right. and the stink eye and everything was just – dude was sweating. He was acting so hard. Like, no one else is sweating from the fact they're in the jungle. In fact, no. they're in the jungle for three weeks, and everybody looks fantastic. Nah, John, John Voight, he, okay? he believed in what he was doing. I thought that dude actually has been in the jungle for a while. Right. Okay. He came on set from living in the jungle for three weeks. Right, just to get ready for it. That's what's like sure. a good actor elevating a crappy script. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was the, like a lot of people misunderstand acting like just go for it. Just go for it. Just bring that mediocre script up to 11. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Nathan said, look, how could this one go to anyone but John Voight? His performance was over the top, but man, alive he brought into this role. His level of intensity and commitment convinced me that he must have been murdering random members of the catering team just to stay in character. <laughs> <laughs> Watch my seen, cheeseburger! Anybody seen John? <laughs> Where's he at? Randy's been missing from craft services. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're all wrapped around chandeliers. <laughs> <laughs> this craft service table could kill you in a thousand ways. <laughs> Must have been a snack. <laughs> I love it, man. All right, Madela, who you got, bro? Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> you give it to I'll, Eddie from Lost World. I'll go. <laughs> Don't you dare. I'll go with I'll go with John Boy. I was gonna do yeah. Ice Ice Cube, but yeah, I yeah. I I definitely think he he was. I didn't like his performance. No, to be fair, but why? Well, this isn't the Just, like award, right? Yeah, yeah, but he was pushing it so hard. So what what did you hate about it? Just to get it on the record. His squinting face. It just <laughs> And and like the fact that like I think just the how the character's written, it was just miscast, right? Yeah. I appreciate you. his effort on it. Who would you have cast in it? I would have changed it so that he could have been from New York, right? Like okay, so he doesn't would... have to be from Paraguay. It's stupid. Okay. It's a I I reject the premise of of him being from Paraguay. Right. But he, he did it. He did his part, and, yeah. and I, I respect, you know, mad respect for him doing sure. it. Eric Valov ends up being the only dissenting vote with Ice Cube, which isn't a bad vote, but it does mean that regardless here... Uh, I expect nothing less from Eric Valov. <laughs> John Boyd's going to win the Will Patton That's Award right, nice. for intensity. Did, did Valov put the time on, time stamp on what no. he sent in? No. He, I appreciate this about Eric. He just said Ice Cube. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So Because he likes Ice Cube. <laughs> He does. He does. He thinks of Ice Cube when he's eating a Twinkie. (laughs) (laughs) That's a euphemism for something else. Uh, The next award that we're going to give out is the award we give out to the worst actor in the movie, the one who showed the range of a trash can full of dirt, the Steven Seagal trash can full of dirt award. Don't play it. Do not play it. Trash can, trash can, it's a trash can full of dirt. Yeah. Love never dies. Yeah. 
Love is eternal. And it has a long time. That's right. Burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, who's your nominee for the worst actor in the movie? Chalo. Jennifer Lopez. That ass ain't that you need a bigger can lid to get that ass in there, bud. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's a hot. She she'll, she'll win the Sherilyn Fenn Award for sure. Okay. You know she's beautiful, yeah. smart, gorgeous, but dumb as a box of rocks in this movie. Character. Her character is. Yes. Not her as a person. Her character. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's uh, a pretty new to the scene at this point in the movie, right? I, well, do you oh, think? Well, she was think, awesome in Selena a couple of years earlier. Like she. Yeah. She has she's had some great roles. Do you and, think that the character that was written was the problem, or do you think her acting was the problem? Her direction and her character were the problem. Okay. Yeah. Her acting wasn't the problem then. No, they both were the, the problem. direction, no. like the direction okay. of like when even the director, when, even when she had to cry or yell for people or get out of the water, and like none of it. Was she she wasn't directed like, well. Like where yeah. John Voight elevated his crappy part. She had the opportunity to do the same, and she didn't. Yeah, she didn't. But that's because she was still brand new to the acting scene. Like, there's a movie literally came out like months later called Out of Sight with George Clooney, where she she nailed it. She was great. In that and you movie. can tell this is before she had all her plastic surgery done because she looked still a little bit puffy and different than she does now. Yeah. And she wasn't like a well-established actress. There, I thought, wow, this is a big movie for J Lo so early in her acting career. Right. But then you go on time to be, and you see all the people that rejected the role. And there's just like all every A list actress in Hollywood passed on this thing before they ended up giving the part to J Lo. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. So next pr next uh, vote comes in from Neil, and he says Eric Stoltz. This movie was full of bad actors, but this Marty McFly wannabe nice was horrible. His best acting work was when he was in a coma after swallowing the bug. <laughs> oh, come on, Pulp Fiction. Crank collar, crank collar, crank collar. <laughs> when I bring an OD to your house, then I'm going to give her the shot. <laughs> uh, you could have had a trash can full of dirt in bed and it wouldn't have changed anything. Plus, a trash can has a better chance of landing J-Lo than he does. Ouch. Ooh, that's fair. Yeah. Ooh. So that's a, a vote for J-Lo and a vote for Eric Stoltz as we go over to the mayor. You know, I'm... I'm going to give honorable mention to Frank Welker, who was the Anaconda voice. Yeah. Sounded like a freaking cat choking on a hairball the we, entire movie. We Love. didn't even mention the snake we didn't, made all yeah. these weird noises. It screams. Right. Snakes don't scream. Snakes don't scream. They don't do nothing. I mean, it, we, we want a place to put Arnold. Put Arnold as a snake voice. I mean, ah, that's fine. Yeah. And I'm I love good. Frank Welker. Dude's done oh, yeah. tons of oh, awesome yeah, stuff. Absolutely. But the, the fact just, they cast a voice actor for a snake is idiotic. Yeah. So honorable mention there, but ultimately I'm going to go with, with J-Lo too. I didn't buy her one bit. I think, um, like we were just talking about a little bit, she had uh, opportunity, same opportunity, especially now knowing that you had a bunch of A-list actresses pass on this role. This is your opportunity to maybe break through a little sooner. Yeah. And something you can take and run take and elevate a crappy script yeah. which she didn't do so yeah, sure. ultimately i'm going to give it to her and she's i think she's been great in other stuff this yeah. just wasn't it yeah uh kyle said eric stoltz is going to get the trash can simply because he's not in a, a lot and nowhere near as intense as everybody else so that's a 2-2 two -two tie now with eric stoltz and j-lo coming over to me and look here's the thing guys um I didn't believe a single dang thing that came out of J-Lo's mouth. Jennifer Lopez 100% gets my vote. She is awful. In the, every time she's like, Danny, put it down. Get out of the water. What are you doing? Did we get him? Take my hand. Like everything, yeah. almost every line of dialogue was some stupid shouting thing. And I didn't, I just never believed her, the emotion or anything, not once in this entire movie. She sucked in this. <laughs> he was the worst character. Uh, she's even she's even better than, or she's even worse than Red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was basically the same there to do the same thing. J Lo was like redundant characters, mm -hmm. right? And Red's is good. Red's actually a pretty decent actress in other mm -hmm. things too. Yeah, yeah. Eight Legged Freaks. Oh yeah, she was an Eight Legged Freaks. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Nathan also said Jennifer Lopez useless <laughs> from top to bottom wasn't able to convey uh, even uselessness convincingly uh, her acting was soulless she was supposed to be the director of a documentary what was she directing what was she ever doing nothing except smooching up John Voight and I didn't even buy that Voight <laughs> deserved better than J-Lo <laughs> All right, Nathan. I'm on board with Nathan. Strong take. Strong take. But well, it's a four to two at this point now for J-Lo with two people left to vote. So what do you got over there, Madela? Okay. I was going to say Stoltz. Yeah. And J-Lo is not a wrong answer either. But I'm actually going off the res here okay. with Mateo. 
<laughs> because you forget he exists. Yes, that's for sure. how bad yeah. of an actor he is. He's an empty shell. That yeah. it's just there isn't a boat driver. Right. Like it could have just been a trash can. And they're like, this is Mateo. And it was just the trash can doesn't respond. Yeah. You're not wrong there either. Makes yeah. trash can noises like in the subtitle or like the <laughs> <It's> <laughs> tra- closed yeah. caption noise. Yeah, closed caption. Trash, trash can, can noise. noise. <laughs> All right. I respect that take. Uh, Eric Valov, Bob, you're not going to agree with him anymore. He went with Carrie Wurr, the guy, that, the girl that played Red from Eight Legged Freaks and all the other stuff. Oh, he put her in the trash yeah, can. Trash can. Uh, she's given. Mu- she uh, was given. Wasn't given much to work with, but still, she didn't add much either. So that's a vote for Carrie from Eric. Mm. But it does mean that Jennifer Lopez is going to win the trash can full of dirt award. You're going to need a bigger lid for that ass. It's right. Yeah. Yeah, stuff her down in here with everybody else. Something tells me she's not going to like our tweets on this. No, probably not. She's not going to care. <laughs> I'm just saying. The next award we give out is to the unsung hero of the movie. So this is somebody that is in a smaller role that really elevated the film and they made the most out of their smaller opportunity. Who is the Steve James Unsung Hero Award winner? You know, every place you go, there's always someone who thinks he's a badass, right? Yeah. Then there are those few who are. Are you still kind of a badass karate boy? All right, Bob. We're going to start over there with you. Who do you who in your opinion is the unsung hero of the movie? Jonathan Hyde. Jonathan Hyde. He he he's another good guy that just he's in a lot of movies, some good, some not so good and he just goes for it and yeah. boy ended up being a driver and ended up distracting a snake. That's right. And and taking out Void at one point and then taking out Void with a golf club. Mad respect. And, and then when, he and, died, and he, you know, tragically met his demise. He did, but even when he showed up, you think, oh, this guy's going to be a tool. Oh, we're going to hate yeah. this character, right? And he's yeah. like, he's the voice, he's the talent, whatever. Yeah. But I didn't hate the character at all. I no, he was, he was, him and Voight were, um, I don't know how to say it. They were beacons of hope for this movie. Yeah, there you go. You know? that's, a, that's a great way to say it. Well, and he um, stands up to Sarone. Yeah, he does, and is like, "You're not gonna boss me." I'm not your poodle. And that's whatever. when he starts right. slapping yeah. him around. But it's right. like that's a that takes a lot of uh, gumption. Absolutely. Why can't we just have those two on the movie? Like, just have those two just be on a boat yeah. hunting a snake, you know? Uh, dude, they follow me up. the advice of an anaconda. What does an anaconda? <laughs> what does an anaconda know? <laughs> right. Neil went with Danny Trejo. Yeah, he was in it for the first minute of the movie, but it's freaking Danny Trejo. <laughs> The guy is awesome. Doesn't matter how much screen time he gets. I just want him to grab a machete and defend himself once. Thank you. Right. Well, and you get to see you could see his backstory. They could go. That's true. How does he get to this point where the snake's attacking him? Give me the anaconda zero. That's what I want. Did I want you know the, the character Machete came from Spy Kids? Oh, did it really? <laughs> Before he got his own movie. <laughs> I love it. Uncle Machete. Uncle Machete. Yes. That's love incredible. It. Nice. I've still never seen Machete. I've, 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 I've seen always seen the, I saw the trailer in the Grindhouse thing, but I never yeah. saw the movie. I'll say this. Yeah. The trailer's better. That's what wow. I've heard. But the movie is entertaining. Machete Kills is actually more entertaining because it has Mel Gibson in it. That's the second one? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll have to check that out. Uh, as we go over to Mayor, who you got for yeah. your unsung hero? I'm going to do honorable mention to Danny Trejo just because he's about one of the only ones I believed in yeah. this movie from an acting standpoint, even if it wasn't his voice calling snake police. Uh, I'm ultimately not going with him because he just wasn't in it quite enough. Yeah. I'm going to go with um, Jonathan Hyde as well. All right. I He walked on the screen the first time he walks on the screen. I'm like, who is this dick? But he kind of grew on me after, you know, yeah. uh, as the movie went on and just kind of, you know, some uh, being the competent, you know, actor, I kind of believed his character as well. For sure. So I'm going to give it to him. He's a more than competent actor. That's awesome. Uh, Kyle goes, I'm going to go with a young Danny Trejo because it's young Danny Trejo. If he's not in it enough, I guess Jonathan Hyde was pretty good. Uh, no, it's actually about how they're in it a little bit. So that's totally fine. So yep. it's a second vote for Danny Trejo from Kyle. So it's 2-2, Jonathan Hyde, Danny Trejo. I thought I was going to be in the minority here because as I'm getting these awards coming in mm. and they're all going Danny Trejo, Danny Trejo, I'm like, I, I put down Jonathan Hyde. Yeah, awesome. And I thought I was going to be in the minority. But 
Jonathan Hyde's getting lots of love today. And I love it. I love that guy. That, that the line of dialogue they the the back and forth he had with Ice Cube, with yeah. like what yeah. they're yeah. going to do when they get back to the states, right. or get back to I, their that home. That was great. That was great. Like there's acting in this. He's, the, yeah. he's one of those actors that whenever he shows up in a movie, I'm never disappointed. I was like, yeah. oh sweet, that guy. And he elevates the other person he's having dialogue yeah. with. Right. Right. You know, like Ice Cube is Ice Cube's Ice Cube. He's an this entertainer. Is, I have nothing Ice against Cube's him. Ice Cube's gotten much better at acting. He has since. Yes, this. he has. But this was again. Super early for yes, me. right. Same for J Lo. Like I'm not right. knocking them. She got much pe- better too. Yeah, she got much better too. But right. like he elevated Ice Cube in that back and forth. Yep. Absolutely. So that's three to two, and it's going to tie up again here because Nathan went Danny Trejo. <laughs> I'm always up for more Danny, and I don't. I don't like. Uh, take a pause for a second. I don't uh, disrespect these guys as pick a Trejo. No, no. I love. I no. thought he might have. I, I agree. In the short time he had, he gave a better acting performance than almost oh, everybody yeah, in the entire movie. Right? He might have to okay. make a Danny Trejo award. Uh, you know, it's good stuff. <laughs> Danny <laughs> Trejo. <laughs> you kill yourself award. in the first two minutes That's of the right. movie. <laughs> uh, but Nathan goes. Look, I'm always up for more Trejo. The filmmakers dangle the dollop of tasty Trejo. <laughs> 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 And then, <laughs> and then oh. snatched it away, the dirty bastards. Yeah, so that's so it's three to three as we go over here to now we still have Eric Valov's vote to come in, but yeah, Eric, who you got? Well, I ran back in the room with some foot cream right after he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, it's gonna be that kind of movie. He comes in with a lotion in one hand. Did your lips get his champ his mind on the ride down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I went with Jenny Trejo. I will say that. Yeah. Um, what's his face? Jonathan Hyde. Jonathan Hyde. Great actor, love him. Yeah, I actually didn't look at anybody that was on the boat yeah. because I was specifically trying not to. Pick, I'm always afraid I'm going to pick someone who's too main of a character. Sure, I'm not sure what the demarcation is there. But it's just feel more than a yeah. you know like a scientific measurement. But yeah, I'm bad at that. Yeah, it's fine. You're going Trejo. Yeah, I'm going Trejo. So it's four to three. But here's the thing: Eric Valov went Jonathan Hyde. Oh. My man, Eric Valov, you put down the barbecue <laughs> sauce. I'm so I proud of you. I don't think it's a bad either way. Yeah. Like, I don't think we go either way. It's a he was no. entertaining. I wish he would have been one of the crew. Uh, uh, one of the crew to survive, but like Eddie, he gave his life so that others could survive. Look, a shout out to Eddie from Eric Valov nice, out here. Nice. Um, Thank you, Eric. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to leave this tie. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to split the award here and, and crown both Jonathan Hyde and Ice, uh, Ice Cube. Jonathan Ooh, Hyde and... That was close. <laughs> Hold, on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I think what we're going to do is just crown both Jonathan Hyde and and Danny Trejo as co-winners because there's not a person at the kids table here to break this, uh, yeah. this tie. So we'll give them both. So congrats to both of these guys yeah. for winning the Unsung Hero Award. Both very deserving. Was this the first time we gave an award to two people? No. Probably not, but usually we try to break the tie. Okay. If we can. All right. If there's a feasible, if we've got two people that dissented, but because everybody here was on one of the sides, mm. there wasn't like the one-off that voted for somebody else. I'd say, well, you got to break the tie. You know, this case, everybody voted. Yeah. It's, and they're both it's a deserving. Sure. Ma- yeah. Madelow is playing with your Death Star. That's fine. Um, here's the next thing, guys. That's it's not time a euphemism. To break out the hiking equipment because it's time to All climb right. BMR Mountain, where we put a person that's been in multiple BMR movies on a mountainside and we rank their performances. So, not is this the peak of their career, but which of these performances is the peak of the ones that they've appeared in so far at BMR? So which of these three movies, and today the person climbing BMR Mountain is Danny Trejo. He's got a machete in one hand as he's hiking up, just going to kill any yetis he comes across. <laughs> foot cream in the well, other. Foot cream in the other hand. Danny Trejo. Radio around his belt. Going to gonna massage some mountain climbers' feet <laughs> <laughs> as they're going, making their way up the mountain to make sure they're okay. He kind of catches right at Con Air. Well. That's right. <laughs> and so there's been three movies that he has appeared in. So the three movies was Desert Heat, as we all know, when he yep. massaged. Uh, was he a ghost? Was he a real person? We don't know in that movie. No. That foot got massaged. That, that foot got massaged. There was some really ghost action. Yeah. <laughs> we also had Danny Trejo appear as one of the uh, members of Gary Sinise's crew in Reindeer oh, Games. that's right. Oh, yep. yeah. Right? As the guy that talks about Second Christmas. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so this tells me Christmas too. <laughs> <laughs> and now here in Anaconda, at, you know, a short time, great performance in the beginning of this movie. So, uh, where do you guys think these the pecking order would be, Bob, for you in uh, Danny Trejo's mountain climbing? What's at the bottom of the mountain? What's in the middle? And what's at the peak? The bottom of the mountain would be Anaconda. Okay. And the middle of the mountain would be desert heat. Okay. And then the peak would be 
Redding, reindeer. So so far out of these three, so far he is to me. He is yeah. leaps and hurdles away from the parking lot. Slashed up a poor hiker. <laughs> um, stabbed a coyote. <laughs> drank the blood. Perfect. Maybe cooked it on a maybe cooked it on tin foil grill yeah. that he made because <laughs> they're resourceful that way. Yeah. So and, to you, your so to you, the peak that Danny Trail has hit so far, his peak performance on BMR has been reindeer games. Yeah. Would anybody disagree with that or have, or have a different ranking? I think I would say uh, Anaconda would be third. Okay. Strictly because it's such a small performance. It's hard to compare to the other two where he had a lot bigger role. Yeah. I would say it's the I'd flip the other two around. See, I agree with you. Yeah. And, and this isn't, we don't have to come to a consensus. I've kind of dropped that whole part of this. Even we can have their own individual rankings. Mm-hmm. But to me, I feel like Desert Heat was more quintessential Danny Trejo as opposed to Reindeer Games mm-hmm. where he's like just this dumb guy in, in a crew that, you know. Right. And he doesn't do a whole lot, gets gunned down. Trejo, he's like sniping. Like, they, they got the dudes, you know, mm-hmm. in that the whole scene where, where, where he's sniping the dude. That, yeah. Um, where John claude Van Damme is sniping dudes up in the tower yeah. and Trejo's there talking in his ear and then runs through the whole thing. It just yeah. seemed more like a Trejo performance yeah. Yeah. to me. But So I'd put Desert Heat, which is a gross thing to say, as the peak. <laughs> Trail. Did you just regurgitate your food? <laughs> Plus, we've had this great thing to mine for jokes about him rubbing feet that we've used, you know, throughout the whole thing. Mueller, mm-hmm. how, how do you feel about it? You know, I I guess I want to elevate Anaconda because yeah. I think he did such a great job in conveying, like, being fearful of whatever was out there. Yeah. But being such a small part, I think it's right that he's at that that one's at three. Okay. And I, I'm a, I think I'm going to go with what you guys are, like yeah. um, Desert Heat at, at one and Reindeer Games at two because I'm, I'm on the same boat as I was sitting here thinking about it, listening to you kind of outline it. That really was a Danny Trejo performance. In yeah. That. I mean, that's really kind of what you expect out of Danny Trejo. And, like, we got so many good foot rubbing jokes now. And it's just two short it. years after. It does, he was just, what, two years after Anaconda? It was 99, I think so, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, I think Anaconda, what's tough. Yeah. yeah. I think what's tough about it, too, is that he's he's really competent and he does a great job in all three of them. Yeah. So yeah. It's not like right. we're dealing with he's terrible in this and amazing in this. It's like we're really splitting hairs with him. No, for like. sure. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like a Mount Rushmore thing. So once they get to four performances or any more than four, those extra ones aren't even making it onto the mountain. They right, just fall off. they're just they're just in the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? So it's ultimately going to become a top four once Danny's once we've done more movies. Danny Trejo's been in. Mm-hmm. You know, Anaconda might be the first one in the parking lot into mm-hmm. the gift shop. The, into the gift shop, <laughs> while the other movies are hiking up the mountain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, awesome. All right, so it's time to render our final verdict, you guys. We have to come, and this is something that you know we. People sometimes struggle to get their heads around and just want to reiterate this. We're trying to do something here. We're trying to thread a needle, and I recognize that. We're trying to marry the objective with the subjective. Is it on its own merits a objectively good or bad movie? And then how do we feel about it, right? And so we'll be like, oh, it's objectively got a lot of problems. It's a bad movie. But I loved it. It's a bad movie that rules. Or it's a good movie that sucks. Or it's a good movie full stop or a bad movie full stop. Make sense? So, Bob... The floor is yours. How do you feel about Anaconda, the movie? Objectively bad movie, but I enjoyed it. Good, uh, bad movie that rules. All right. Yeah. I, I know I almost just said good movie that rules. So, <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, so you're nah. into this movie. Have you seen it a lot? Yeah, I've seen it quite a few times. I mean, I, I had to watch it to refresh my memory. It's been a while for it's me. It's been a while. I remember the ending, and I remember the axe of the head at the end of the, by Ice Cube, yeah. and yeah. that was about it. I totally <laughs> forgot that Jonathan High was in it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, yes, I love this guy. And then All totally right. forgot how bombastic John John Voight was in it. So yes. it's a bad, it's a 100% bad movie there, Rules. I, if it was on and nothing else to watch and Netflix said, put this on, fine. All right. I'll watch it again. I respect that. Uh, Neil said, like, overall, bad movie that rules. Despite being terrified of snakes ever since I was a kid and this being nightmare fuel to me, it's just stupid, silly fun. Overacting with decent animatronics mixed with bad CGI. The only thing that would have made it a good movie is if Eric Stoltz had gotten eaten. Jeez. I agree. (laughs) (laughs) Also, 
if you watch the scene where they use the dead monkey to catch the snake, I couldn't believe this when he told me this. Uh, all the characters except for Owen Wilson are on the main deck with Voight. But in one shot, there are two people up on the top deck managing the spotlights. Owen Wilson and some random dude. Who's the random dude on the other light? I did see that because you see the two lights going like crazy. Right. Yeah. But all everybody's on the deck. Right. Who's the ghost? I wonder if it was supposed to be Mateo, but they didn't shoot it right. It was, yeah. It was Danny Trejo. Yeah. It's the ghost of Danny Trejo <laughs> operating the other spotlight. He's rubbing Owen Wilson's Jeez. feet up there. He's the lighting crew. <laughs> Mayor, what's your final verdict? You know, I saw this when it came out in 97 and hadn't seen it since. Yeah. When I watched it again, I was reminded why I hadn't seen it since. Yeah. It was... <laughs> Fair enough. And... Like we said throughout the, the episode, I mean, there was so much promise here, right? They could have did the Jaws thing only with a snake mm-hmm. and done it well. Could have been done well. I, there were some good parts with the animatronics. The CGI was crappy. There were some good performances in it. But yeah. ultimately, not enough good performances for me to say it's a bad movie. The rules, this is just a straight up bad movie for me. All right. I respect that, man. Uh, Kyle said, uh, boat storage. Everyone has three months of clothes. Where is it all being kept? You know, Kyle, these are the important questions that people need to ask. Okay. How is everyone so clean? No one talks or acts like any of these people in real life. At one point in the movie, Owen Wilson asked everyone on the boat if they know where they were. <laughs> I'm going to tell you where you are, Mr. Wilson. You're in a bad bleeping movie, full stop. So <laughs> that's the second. So we got two BMRs and two bad movie full stops. And uh, also, Nathan here said, look, I saw this movie twice in theaters, countless times on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray. In prep for the show, I watched it with my young adult sons who had never seen it. They laughed and cheered throughout and were entertained as I was for the last 27 years. So there is a lot to pick apart about the film that is often silly and frequently ridiculous. However, I cannot say anything is bad if it offers so consistently this level of entertainment to me and now my kids. So it is an infinitely rewatchable, good movie, fullest of stops. Now, I respect that. Respect respect the take, Nathan, but I think this is exactly what we're getting at. And this is just a, a, something for you guys to think about as we send in these awards and stuff in the future. Yep. I think you just described a bad movie that rules. Yeah, you, definitely. You, you said often silly, frequently ridiculous, lots to pick apart about the film. That's a, Those are objective qualities of the movie. And you loved it. That's a bad movie that ruled. But yeah. I'm, I'm, your ruling will stand here. I'm just using this as an example for other people, kind of what we're getting to. Madela, what do you got? This movie is terrible. <laughs> But I absolutely love watching it. Yes! (laughs) So it is absolutely a bad movie that rules. Let's go! It's so much fun to watch how terrible it is. (laughs) And just... But it's, it's also not... I don't know. It's just, it's so fun to watch. Yeah, dude. It's, I was sad that it wasn't Jaws because you, you get that little glimmer of hope in the beginning. They're like, yeah, are we? Yeah. And then you, you keep watching You're like, no, no, (laughs) it started three minutes after. Yeah. It started out with a ton of promise. Yeah, absolutely. But it, it, as soon as he walks in and he's like, piranhas on my knees, (laughs) got piranhas on my knees, got piranhas on my knees, got piranhas on my sleeves. Um, Jay Lowe, why are you not on your knees? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, but no, it's definitely a bad movie that rules. All I, right. I, I had so much fun watching it. Respect. Eric Valov said, look, this movie is, a, is as an accurate portrayal of anacondas as Jaws was for sharks. It does not hold up well. I haven't seen it since the early aughts. I bet he said that just to bother you. F*** you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> they beat you over the head to imply John Voight was the villain. I half expected him to turn into an anaconda <laughs> midway through the movie. That would have made the I movie better. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have been shot. Have watched it's a good better. movie that rules if, he, if John Voight got bit and just said, you know what happens to me when I get bit? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's squinting so much. He's actually a snake in a human skin. That's what it is. They did the Javar thing. He's trying to approximate <laughs> human behavior. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Always yeah. Yeah. Oh, Pennywise of humans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So many plot holes. Why let Mateo die and take on, uh, Mo? Why let Mateo die and take on an inexperienced partner like Owen Wilson to help you get a massive killer snake? How did they set up the crew? How did the movie know where Trejo's boat was if his radio didn't work and they took an alternate route? Plant my flag. Bad movie. Full stop. Bob, the only time you're not as dumb as you look is when I close my eyes. Hey, Eric, stop sucking on a tailpipe. (laughs) (laughs) 
So I think we've got three BMRs. What's that? What's that? What, what is what is no, that? Four BMRs, three bad. What's that substance that Eric's farting out of his ass? I don't know. You have to ask him when you see him <laughs> next time. No. Uh, so it stands for bad movie that rules in three bad movie full stops. Um, I am going to say this about the movie. It is objectively terrible. It's got some of the worst acting I've ever seen. Some good acting performances. John Voight chewing the scenery, like gnawing on the trees in the jungle. But I had a blast watching this movie. It's very stupid in all of the best possible ways. This is a movie I could throw on by myself and enjoy it. Usually it's like, okay, did I watch this with somebody and I enjoyed the crap out of it? That's what happened with Cabin Fever. I gave that a BMR because I watched it with my family and it was a blast. Right. Right? But if I'd watched that alone, I probably would have hated it. I think this is even fun and stupid by myself. Yeah. You know I would I'm put saying? this on in the background if I'm playing a game or something. Right. And just let it play and just laugh at it. 100%. Yeah. So it's a bad movie that rules for me. All the way across the board, easy call on this one, guys. It's it's ridiculous, but I I love it. And you know what? That's what movies are about, man. Are you entertained? Did you enjoy the thing? And I know sometimes this is what people have a hard time understanding about our ratings. They say, "Well, if I liked it, then it's good." Yeah, it is good to you. Then that's the part that we're trying to say, right? It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's awesome, and that's that's great. That's all that matters. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what critics think. Ultimately, the objective part of it doesn't matter. Did you like it? I liked it. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Absolutely. So go next watch week, it. It's fun. It is. And it's on Netflix. I don't know if it'll still be by the time you're listening. Maybe you're listening to this five years from now. I don't know if it still is, but as of right now, it's on Netflix. It's on Voodoo, too. I think go watch I it. I got on Voodoo. Perfect. Uh, next week, we are going to be diving into a movie that's kind of, it's weird. It's disappeared. You can't really stream it anywhere. But for a long time, it was like a mainstay on HBO. You could see it just all the time. It's a college humor. Uh, you know, it's one of those like, you know, um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Mm -hmm. I know that's a high school one, but like uh, uh, Days of Confused was a college movie, right? PCU. It stars Jeremy Piven. David Spade is in it. John Favreau. And the movie is like, you just can't find it anywhere anymore. Right. But that's it's a comedy. It got pulled randomly from our list by the uh, Mega AI 3000. <laughs> That is uh, the one that just chooses our episodes, and that's the one we're going to be talking about next week. We just upgraded it, too. So. We did. It's 3.0. No, it's 3.0. All right. I, I, some people ask me that. They go, why do you guys have uh, random polls for your episodes? And I think there's two reasons. One, it takes me off of the hook of having to pick what movies we're doing every single week, and the list is so huge. Right. It's like all I would do is run through all the movies I want to do real quick, and then we wouldn't have any of those left anymore. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have any Arnold movies left. We wouldn't have any Stallone movies left, no Van Damme movies left, because we would just do all of those movies. Right? right. So it gives us an exposure to movies maybe we wouldn't get exposed to, mm -hmm. but also – it kind of adds an MST3K element to it. The thing I love about Mystery Science Theater 3000 is the in-character. In Obviously, they picked the movies, but the characters were subjected to whatever movies they had to watch each week, and they didn't know what it was going to be. And so it, it adds a little bit of a homage to Mystery Science Theater as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So I love the randomness. PCU is our random next movie that we're doing. And you hate Jeremy Piven. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you met him, didn't you? I did. He was a dick. Yeah. Just a huge, and a friend of mine did a show with him. He was a stand-in for him on uh, Early Edition, I think, whatever that TV show he did for a hot minute was. Mm -hmm. And he was a dick hole to him, too. So, wow. Yeah. I know where the trash can's going there. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what? It's a meritocracy. So only if his <laughs> only if he earns your it. Dude, it's not just down. about how, if the person's an a-hole or not. I didn't even nominate Seagal during half past. I threw dead. Seagal's ass in the trash can. I know. I didn't. First chance I, I got. The FBI commander was worse. So if if he's the worst actor, I'll sure enough give it to him and I'll do it with a smile across my face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to depend on who the You'll worst James is. You'll James Hauser pooping at first, so, then throw him in. Right. So we'll see. So join us next week for PCU. In the meantime, on behalf of the Manimal, Bob Hauser, the Mayor, Ryan Mueller, and Dr. Ryan Madela, I'm James Hauser. Thank you for listening. We're just not going to do anything. Coming, eating at my freestyle. Owen Wilson, underwater. <laughs> oh, wow. Blood clunk. Come on, sing it with me, Ryan. Don't be scared of the snake. I'm I don't dog. know this song anymore. It's still, it's I still dirty like from before. Where's my cocaine? I need my cocaine for my snake. <laughs> I... Cocaine and free workout, man. You talking to me? I'm talking to you, you snake-licking <laughs> son of a...
I killed more snakes than your mom. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, man. It's bad. How many snakes is his mom slaying? Do you want to answer that question? <laughs> <laughs>